found one of your dream seeds, which was for a seed with literally the biggest mushroom biome findable. And as soon as I saw that there were thousands of blocks of this same biome, I couldn't resist loading it up and trying it for myself. And so today I'm going to be going to that mushroom biome. The moment I spawn, you can't spawn on mushroom islands, but you can spawn very close to them. I'm going to go straight to it. As you can see, this is a jungle biome. We're going to ignore all that. We're going to stay on the mushroom island for as long and as much of the game as we can and see exactly what we can actually do of it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and join me for the journey, I guess. Um, so yeah, if you aren't familiar with the basic idea, it is that in Minecraft, uh, there is lots of biomes and you know, they all have different rarities But the rarest one has always been the mushroom biome and as a reward of being so rare It has an exclusive and very elusive powerful mob It has a very weird set of terrain generation rules that result in it being purple and most importantly It tries to only spawn as islands Which means you have to swim to one because the game refuses to spawn you on them at least post 1.18 And so let's load up a seed Let's go over there and let's see how it works out also good luck at least food won't be an issue says uh, David Hambrick. Thank you. I, I really do think the biggest benefit of the place is going to be that our basic needs are taken care of. So there's just going to be things that are weirdly, you know, long or strange to do. So we can just take advantage of the mushroom biome as much as we can. It might be a benefit, you know, blessing rather than a curse. And so that is precisely what my plan is. So um, looks like a more of an all ocean challenge so far. It is um, also, uh, th th indeed, I went a little bit too close to the ocean monument, it seems. Um, there's a second one way back over there, but there is a mushroom island that you can just about see. I was gonna get in a boat to go to it, but again, I wanna be clean for this, straight to the mushroom island and straight to surviving on it. So in case you haven't seen Seed Sunday yet, I can leave a link to it down below, but in case you haven't seen it, um, it is hard to comprehend how big we say it is when we say, yeah, there is a mushroom island that's not a mushroom island, it's a mushroom continent. It is the size, you know, if, if, if a normal island is the size of like a, uh, you know, like a tiny little uh, outer lying island that you're used to, this is the size of Australia. This is, this is really pushing the boundaries between when a mushroom island stops being a mushroom island and starts being something else. And uh, believe me, uh, every time you think you've seen it all, you just, there's, there's more to see. Also, there's apparently an, uh, an ocean monument just outside of it that I'm going to be desperate to avoid here. So yeah, we're going to stay above the water. And then we're going to go swimming, and we're going to see just how much of this mushroom island there really is. By the way, I've never been so lucky to find a mushroom island. Hello, fellow Welsh people. Let's eat these mushrooms. I, you know, I agree. Eating mushrooms, very good for you. I, You know, underrated benefit. I, it's, it's weird to me that, like, mushrooms aren't, like, are easy to categorize anything. They're not easy to categorize as life. They're not easy to categorize as, uh, you know, like, a, a, even a type of food. They feel like a vegetable... But yet mushrooms aren't, you know, I just, I, I never can understand it. So, um, is this huge mushroom biome from the seed challenge? Yes, it is. It is from this weekend's seed Sunday. Um, so if you, if you need the seed in particular, it's easy to find it. So how are you going to get wood? This is a fun thing, right? Like it used to be, if you wanted wood in a mushroom biome, you would either be out of luck, find a mine shaft or a shipwreck or something along those lines. However, Minecraft 1.18 did something really interesting. And so let's let's go see what that is. So um, will there be mushroom for all of us to be in the mushroom biome? Yeah, that's the funny thing. I feel like you could settle down with 30 people here and it'll work. Anyway, yeah, so that's my first mushroom coming in to say hello. So this is my food source sorted if I can get a bowl. If I can't get a bowl, I just have to beat them to death. Also, I gotta climb up and into this maybe. I'll break some. So also, by the way, here's another fun thing. Every block in the mushroom biome that is exclusive. So the giant mushrooms and the these things are all when you break them you get a different block so when you break mycelium you get dirt how long do i have mining fatigue for two and a half minutes jesus oh get elder guardians are brutal of the uh the, the timing apparently so um yeah we're now going to uh go around the island and we're going to try and piece together something for life because you know we can kill mushrooms all day long but they just give you cow drops which is acceptable i guess like it's not terrible um but you know is is one raw beef gonna feed us especially without, uh, you know, like a, a way to make a furnace. No, it's not. And also, do you feel good about being mushrooms to death? I certainly don't. <laughs> I hope today we can get some round mushrooms. It'd be fun, by the way. But um, yeah, the, also, let's just uh, finish the murder. I'm very sorry. I, I don't need, I don't want to kill a lot of you. I just want to kill enough of you to keep myself alive. Um, but yeah, the plan is post 1.18, you can find uh, azalea trees above lush caves, which means we just have to explore the thing until we can find one of those. Also, I am still very much wearing the the 
the, the, the rainbow cape from uh, yesterday's uh, Let's Play. You know, I had to see if the, the piglin was, was, was gay or woke. One of the two. I guess you can be, you know, it was, maybe I equated the two, which is very anti uh, that to me. Anyway, um, with that said, I, was, I, I forgot about the Azalea tree. Yeah, the Azalea trees are a ridiculous thing. You're a fun guy toy cat. Ah, thank you very much. <laughs> it's a silly joke, but it's one I like, Izzy DeBauer. Um, you know what, Izzy DeBauer, that's a fun name too. It's also spelt different how I'd expect. You, I, I would have guessed no W, so maybe like Dutch is what's going on there. Thank you very much for saying I'm a fun guy. I certainly aim to be one. So, um, yeah, we have to scroll around the biome for as long as we can. Just kind of hover around, looking, no, no place to settle down until we find an azalea tree. Bear in mind, it might be a thousand blocks or so. Um, but yeah, we're looking just desperately for one of those. If I'd have stored in my mind, I, I'm sure we could have found one in advance. But you can see just the scale of this thing as we do that. It it feels like we've loaded up a single biome mine, you know, mine, uh, mushroom world. But yet that's not the case. So um, also at least they still sound like normal cows. It's the weirdest thing, right? Like whoever added the mushroom had a lot of fun that day, I imagine. Uh, but yeah, it's technically, it's, it's one of those weird mods. I'm just sorry. I don't want to have to kill you. I just do have to have to kill you. Um, so yeah, looking around, we're going to see what we can find today. The good news is hostile mobs don't spawn here, even at nighttime. Uh, the bad news is we could be going a long while if we're looking for a tree. Over there, does that look like one behind that? Or is that a mushroom? It's, it's hard to be sure without any blocks to even break up. But we'll, um, yeah, I guess what we'll do is for now, just to, to keep alive, we'll look down and actually, yeah, if we find a lush cave down below, we'd also be pretty sorted as well. So we look for one of those two things and it'll be golden. So uh, what about everyone's favorite mobs and phantoms? I actually don't know if phantoms spawn here. I bet they, it makes sense that they would, but I also, I, I, I haven't heard it, they do. So um, yeah, the mushroom biome is one of the most just sp ridiculously beautiful but also strange places you can be. Um, it is a very samey biome also. Um, but also, it's samey to itself, but so different to the rest of Minecraft, right? Like, this feels like an alien planet. I think Minecraft could really lean into having more rare biomes like this. Because uh, when, when there's just the one of them, it's like, okay, you see it, you're done. Imagine if there were biomes that were this rare, uh, that you would just find occasionally that made you go, yeah, wanna, wanna go there. Um, and as long as they make them just interesting visually and stuff, I'm sure it'd be interesting. Uh, by the way, we found our ruined portal before we found a tree. Also, thank you, Jake Liao. Um, is that designed to rhyme with meow? Because if so, it does. Also, we got some red mushrooms. Um, uh, for time for my toy cat tax, let's get the ball rolling. You know what? Let's do it, Jake Liao. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate the, uh, the, the tip. Hope you're doing wonderfully. Also, VS says he really loves this biome. You know, I, I, I'm i glad you love the biome so much. I, I really do. It's a, it's a it's a beautiful place, right? Um, but yeah, no, I um I, I, I really appreciate when people like the idea of like, yeah, let's let's get the thing, you know, let's get it gone, let's get the train moving. I it's 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 nice. I, I try not I, I try to never be the person who's like, okay, every five seconds. It's been like twenty five seconds since I last mentioned that you can tip. So did you know you can go to streamlabs.com slash toycat and it appears on screen? But um, yeah, at the same time, it's also like, well, that is important to say, isn't it? Um, I think finding a balance in lots of things can be hard, especially things where you're like, ooh, yeah, what if, what if people think poorly on me for it? But I, I think with things that are like important to make something work, almost everyone understands at some point, they're like, well, you know, you, you can not do it. And you know, as long as you're not doing it like obsessively or intrusively, it's like, yeah, it works out eventually. Also, yeah, we have now uh, iron. We have gold armor. So we're sorted on the armor front from those mobs that won't come here. But we don't have any tree or sign of a tree yet. Uh, they are, they do exist. I do know that. But where they exist is going to be fun. So, um, yeah, we can also go to a mine shaft. I do agree. Also, I got three months of uh, YouTube Premium free. And it's nice, says uh, KMB600. The best bit about uh, YouTube Premium is even while you're on a trial, um, it still is better for you to watch uh, YouTube videos than if you were watching ads. Like, YouTubers get paid more. It's um, it's an important thing for people who do think about that. Also, Logan, I definitely saw this stream coming last Sunday. I can't, I can tell this is going to be a silly one. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, honestly. Also, there's some green over here. I don't know if that is going to mean anything for me, but it might, might be a sign that there's at least a cave down there, maybe? Um, that we could head into. No, it's weird. This is just also wait. What is that down there? I thought it was a mine shaft, but I'm crazy um, This is a very big place 
there. Look, like, by the way, we've been heading in the same direction for over a thousand blocks now, and there's still no sign of the end, right? Like, <laughs> I, I see some sign of stone, though. Okay, that's useful. That means there's probably lava down there. So if we can, um, okay, if I could get some flint, I could light the cows on fire, because I've already got the steel. No, I, even then, okay, because we got, we got lava, and we've got a ruined portal. We just don't have a tree. And without a tree, we also can't go to sleep, so... One day, phantoms will murder us. Um, it'd be great if there were mushroom villagers. Yeah, I think I think that if Minecraft wants to have like a weird biome you're meant to farm villagers in, it should be the mushroom biome. This should just it should be done. Also, those are some very tall mushrooms mushrooms in the background. Yeah, like look at some of these. They're so ridiculously tall. I did not appreciate how far I might have to go in search of a tree. By the way, but I'm also entirely ready to kind of just tactically cross this place, and then we'll start turning left after that, maybe. Uh, but we, st we still might just be good there. So, um, the beef... Ah, uh, yeah, I, I... You know, there's there's no sign... Okay, over there, I think that's a second ruined portal. It might be a tree, but I think it's a ruined portal, right? Yeah, we found two ruined portals now before we've start found any sign of wood, but that's fine. That's what the biome entails. We now have so much food... And we have leather, and we have a chest and obsidian before we have wood. It is the place that gives and gives and gives, but is a little bit cautious if you ask it for some wood. You just gotta, you gotta watch out. If you wanna ask for wood, just ask really, really politely. Um, so trees do not spawn in this biome, says Beldon. Okay, Beldon, hold that fort. And uh, bear in mind, this is vanilla Minecraft, no mods. I just like, uh, my favorite thing in life, in not, you know, in real life, is like proving someone wrong when they make a comment like that. But obviously I can't, I can't really easily enforce that one here. So instead you're gonna have to enforce that, oh no, I was wrong, moment on yourself. I hope that's okay, if we say that. Um, also, yeah, I would like to get some sugarcane in sooner rather than later. So as long as we find some on the shore of this, we'll be golden. Also, I think, speaking of being golden, <laughs> let's eat some of this. Um, because this is good food, it'll last forever, it's great. Um, but yeah, we are going to find a tree. It's gonna happen. Um, if you think I'm crazy, I have some news for you. That's true, but also I'm, I'm gonna find one still. Okay, so yeah, this this biome has one. If I'm not mistaken, just over here is a good spot too. I, I remember vaguely looking at this world and above from creative a long time ago. It's literally days ago, Sunday. Can you remember Sunday internet? You know, t times were simpler last Sunday. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can uh, see any sign of it. I think third person scanning, left, right, left, right. Um, but yeah, I want to. Um, I'm, the most important thing is that you you feel that, uh, and you you and that you know. It's, I, I feel like the most important feeling in the world is when you had a really strong conviction about something and you were wrong, because it's a reminder that conviction is important, but you can't just be convinced that something is real until it exists. Like, things either exist or they don't, and you don't have a perfect knowledge of what it is sometimes. Things that seem ridiculous can end up being true, and it's kind of beautiful. Also, wait, we have Silk Touch now. We can chop down some mushroom blocks. <laughs> okay, that's fun. Also, is this a cave? It is not a lush cave, which is the one that we really kind of need. Um, but we don't need the lush cave itself, which sounds like it's a cop-out, but it would be a great way. We can just find a single azalea tree from up above here. So over there, that's gotta be a lush cave. I don't think you can even get cave biomes in this world. Um, we we can, we can. That's that's the benefit, honestly, of doing it this way. Also, sugarcane, yes. Okay, that's in the mushroom biome. We're all good. It's is that five high sugarcane too? No, it's four high. I mean, still weird, right? Objectively, but yeah, just four high. What a what a normal height for sugarcane to be. Sorry, I mean to say. Four high is exactly how high. Isn't it? Isn't it weird that cactuses and sugarcane grow taller in this way than normal? Um, but yeah, I think um, can't you get the uh, bushes from the lush caves more trees? Yeah, the plan is we either find them in the lush cave itself, or we find the azalea tree which points to it. That is, uh, it's uh, it's one of those plans that puts us in a situation where we're kind of endlessly gonna look for something. That I think, you know, part of me is like, ooh, is this the sort of thing you meant to know where it is ahead of time? Because I, I'm genuinely just looking with no idea of where one is, but just knowing that you will find one even here. Because although trees can't spawn here, every biome can have trees via the lush cave. 
um, via the Azalea, which spawns on top of it. So as long as we find one soon, we'll be great. In the meantime, we can do the, the fun thing. You know, a lot of people have a lot of feelings about this uh, this cape, huh? Um, we, we can... We, we can get that as our engagement hack going on right now. Like, wow. Anyone have any feelings about this they'd like to share in chat? Uh, you got strong feelings for or against uh, rainbow capes? Please do let me know. But yeah, we could find... Uh, so if we weren't going to... If there were no lush caves, by the way. Um, but if, if you weren't going to... If we didn't find lush caves, we'd still be able to find mine shafts underneath all this somewhere. Uh, it would take a long time to get there. Um, but if we couldn't find that, we could find a shipwreck. That is our, like, hierarchy. Also, I think I'm going to take some of the grass with me. Um, it's a bit of a weird one, right? But finding grass in a, in a mushroom biome, surprisingly hard. So if we just take some of this. We'll be in for something nice, I think. And then we'll also... Um, we'll save the axes for the trees, otherwise. Or we'll save this axe for either trees or if mobs try to hit me. But yeah, notice, I'm, I'm not playing Peaceful Difficulty. But doesn't it look an awful lot like Peaceful Chat? There are no mobs anywhere. Because that is how the mushroom biome works. Um, also, um, I find it to be colourful. That's all I have to say. Ah, oh, the, oh, all the controversies faded out. Damn it. So yeah, it, it, it really looks like peaceful, right, Hunter Robinson? It's crazy. Um, we need a mushroom uh, biome hostile mob. It would be... I think it would be fun. I think a lot of people could appreciate if there was a hostile mushroom style mob. I mean, isn't that the... Uh, in Minecraft Dungeons, they had an insane one. That I thought was a cool little addition to that game. Maybe that's what they should do here too. So yeah, this is uh, this cave here looks kind of promising. Is it going to give us direct access to a lush cave? It's not. There's uh, It's a big cave. But there's still nothing in it. Um, I was assuming we'd find an azalea tree before we found the cave. But every cave we check, we come past. We, we, we gotta check anyway, right? Like it's just, it's just the important thing to do. And this is, you know, like uh, the... The caves themselves will have more than one tree rather than just the single one anyway. Uh, so this one is looking absolutely fascinating. Uh, what is it? What's going on down there? By the way, you said they're devaluing capes, sort of, which can be a good thing given how much stolen accounts with a ca well, capes can sell for. Yeah, this is a... Um, it's a really interesting point because uh, RuneScape has the same problem. They made a bunch of limited time items that weren't meant to be limited time items. They just were only made for, you know, they're meant to just be like, here's a fun show that you used to play off this time. But then they became so valuable because people start selling them and it becomes a whole second economy um, that they're like, oh, we don't like that. Now hacking someone's account can be worth insane amounts because you can't get these things otherwise. Um, and yeah, I think I do see that as an argument, but I also think like, the only way to not have that be an argument is to say every account is the same. When you give us money, you give us the an amount equal to the best. And I, it kind of removes individuality. Imagine if you said like, oh yeah, well, we've noticed that in the real world, people who have slightly nicer, people who buy the nice strawberries or nice phones maybe, uh, become more of a target for theft. So we're only going to sell bad phones now. Uh, the, I don't know, I, what's the Apple equivalent? The iPhone... Um, SE or the, the, the iPhone 10 is where anything past that point you have to you have to come trade them in and, any, and from now onwards we're only going to be making iPhone 10s so everyone has equally terrible phones and then no one needs to steal each other's phones and it's like well that's you've solved like one part of the problem but also in a really bad way um, in a really really bad way um, but yeah I guess you and, and even then I guess not now there's still the problem of people because you're allowed to keep your old uh, capes from pre-devaluation it still then means that people have these valuable accounts, right? Um, because still, I you know, I have a Minecon 2015 cape as well as a 2016 one uh, that I apparently am eligible to get if I can provide proof. But um, I, I got free codes for it. That's what really annoys me. I had free Minecon 2016 codes and none of them worked. I think so. Maybe one of the employees. <laughs> one of, or not employees, but like uh, people helping out. I'm not even sure. By the way, I've been, I've been searching for so long here. I did not appreciate how long we'd have to spend looking just for a tree. <laughs> Sometimes those are the fun challenges though, right? The ones where even even step one is a bit of a struggle. But I'm sure we'll find a tree from up here. We've been going for so long. Um, okay, do you see one, chat? Do you see one? Um, azalea, 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 Azalea. If we turn up our render distance all the way, it might help actually. Okay, yeah, for things like this, it's important to max out that render distance. Um, 
so we go to video, we'll go to chunks, we'll just put up to 45. Just give it a little bit more, so we can see what's all the way over there. Uh, I think that's an important thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is, in fact. Also, I saw so many on Seed Sunday, now there's just none. <laughs> I think that's the one of the things that I'm always trying to, like, make sure... Uh, you know, there's a lot of biases that come out when things come up in YouTube videos. One of them is, like, this bias towards everything in Creative, for example, makes things look easy. So Seed videos will be like, yeah, these things are next to each other. But if there's a huge chasm in between, it's like, yeah, that takes some effort to cross. Um, but yeah, I, um, I look at that one under there. Also, uh, silly strimmer trees are not real. We will find one, and we will chop it down brutally. Is this... Nope. Okay, that's fine. Isn't it nice, by the way? This biome is very safe. There's no chance of me being, uh, murdered by, you know, a rogue mob here or there. But on the other hand... Oh, so we're gonna eat another golden carrot now. Let's get up to full. This is... It seems like it makes sense. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna find- I, I think finding some of the natural way at this point is gonna feel extra satisfying. It's like the super flat challenge thing, like, sometimes knowing that something is super, super rare, um, you know, wh knowing something is hard makes getting to that step and past it really quite valuable. We haven't seen a single tree in our- well, we're approaching the end of the biome over here, almost. We haven't seen a single tree just yet. Um, we can see one all the way over there in a different biome, but we're staying in the mushroom biome for what we can today. Um, yeah, maybe over here is, is where I thought was over there. We'll see. So first of all, as you can see, this is another ruined portal. I hope it's not the same one I went to earlier and I've somehow, uh, backed around on myself. But as you can see, oh, flint and steel. So we've got some cooked beef now. Um, that's a good thing. Some fire charges seem good. The flint isn't really needed if I have a second flint steel. And a fire aspect sword as well. And that's very fun, huh? Also, um, good to see you. It's Dorian and, uh, Aubrey. How are you doing today? Um, can you imagine if 1.21 was a mushroom biome update? <laughs> I mean, Minecraft does need to update it too, right? You gotta, gotta consider all the biomes in your updates. So yeah, we, um, so we don't have to eat our golden carrots now. We can now start cooking our food before we eat it. Which is a fun little, fun little bit, right? I like that. Um, the... The murder of the cow is still going to be slow, a little bit painful, but we got something from that. So we're now going to go this way, I guess. Positive, negative? Yeah, we'll set some cow- You know, I really like you guys. You guys- you don't deserve this, I know, I understand, but someone has to enforce this on you. Um, and I need some cooked steak. So now we can replace our previous- also, does this have looting on? No, just fire aspect. So now we got to cook beef as well, which just, you know, sometimes it's nice to have food- Diversity. Food, food insecurity is one of the scariest things, right? When you... The the thing that can, like, bring down a group of people the fastest is when the people don't know... Like, uh, you know, there's a famous phrase, like, yep, revolutions, like, you, like people... People, uh, it's like free... Every, people are free missed meals away from a revolution. Like, you... All it takes is you telling people, like, oh, don't know how you're gonna eat today or tomorrow or the day after, and people will be like, oh, dear, dear God. Um, which is why you'll notice a lot of people... Um, this, this is an interesting tactic, right? Like, um, if you want people to be more in favor of revolution, convince them they already don't have meals. How are they? You know, like, be, or convince them other people don't, you know, on, on their behest. And if you want to convince people they're fine, then make sure you give the most, uh, rowdy people. Make sure they have their stuff covered. Also, wouldn't having more freaky biomes, like, make the mushroom biome lose, it, lose its charm? Yeah, there is a, there is a really interesting argument that I'm sure Mojang must have gone back and forth on. Um, when you add a new biome to the game, you kind of devalue all the existing ones and their experience. If Minecraft had 300 biomes that were all unique, they would all feel less interesting in themselves. So working out the balance of when to add new content versus when to just polish existing ones, um, is a really hard one. It, it's hard for basically anything you ever do. Like when you're writing a, um, I remember one of my, uh, I think it was my history teacher, would always be like, wow, Andrew, you write so concisely. What it actually was, was that I was writing just very little. Like, I, I, I made sure I got all the important points in and just said very little that I could. But, like, being able to say the same amount of stuff in less time is a good thing, in general. I mean, it's weird because I, you know, the, the whole existence of YouTube to some extent proves the opposite. But that's how, that's like, you know, like, con more concisity is a good thing in people's minds. 
Also, don't worry, that's no problem. Mojang already adds mediocre biomes like the mangrove swamp, so it actually makes all the other biomes even better. <laughs> you know, it's a good theory that that's why they do it. I, uh, you know, the, the more bad biomes they add to the game, the more we'll appreciate the existing biomes. That's, that's a weird thing, right? That you, sometimes you can do something bad to make someone appreciate what they have already. Uh, maybe the, the whole premise behind the, the, uh, the Saw movies, I guess, basically. But yeah, also, th this is crazy how far we've come. And I don't, I remember seeing them everywhere um, when I did a flyover, but I haven't seen one just yet. But I, you know, I'm sure we will find one. Uh, we just gotta keep believing. Also, um, by the way, you uh, ever realize how the swamp update barely updated the swamps? That's the thing, right? They made a whole new sub biome rather than updating the main biome itself. It's a it's a tricky problem Minecraft has. If people will say Minecraft needs to change, but then immediately after saying that, be like Minecraft was way better back before they changed. <laughs> and so uh, it's it's hard to like find that balance. How do you how do you change enough that people feel like something's fresh while also staying true to the thing that people you know like care about something for. Like, um, and I think musical artists go through this the worst, is people say like, oh man, I liked your earlier stuff better. But then if you make the same stuff that you used to make over and over again, people are like, oh yeah, they just, they're a one hit wonder, they made one thing and they never worked out how to make something else. Like you almost can't win. People, people want to criticize. Um, and you know, like rightly so, like you know, if, you, if you spend money on something, you should, you should have the right to say it's terrible. Which is why, you know, therefore all the people who haven't tipped on this stream, sorry, it's, <laughs> You're not allowed to say it's terrible that we haven't found a tree yet. Do, do, do you see the size of this mushroom biome, by the way, that we've spent 20 minutes looking around it and haven't found one of the many trees that exist here? I do promise you there are trees. Um, I hope Mojang doesn't uh, change the bedrock wither to be more like the Java wither due to parity. I think it's more likely they'll change the Java wither to be like the bedrock one. Um, because the bedrock wither is... So in my mind, the Bedrock Wither was made by people who saw the Java Wither and thought, yeah, how do we improve on this? Um, become a member of the exclusive perk of Roasting Toy Cat, says Big Salmon. It's true. It's the it's it's the reason to be a member. The biggest one. Also, could you imagine trying the seed in the Xbox 360 edition? <laughs> There'd be a Woodland Mansion in one of the corners. Um, a bunch of... Also, come on. I, I At this point, it's ridiculous now. I, I've been playing fairly coolly... But where are the where is it? There are definitely trees here, chat. I promise you. We might have to start digging underground or searching out these caves that we go into. I was just assuming, like, yeah, well, it's gonna be faster not to. But maybe that's wrong. Maybe we just gotta follow our heart, follow our soul, follow wherever the game takes me, um, or make an observation tower. Yeah, that was my first thought. I, 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 but when I stacked up, I still didn't see stuff. Okay, here's a cave. Is it gonna be the right type of cave? No, it's a very bland cave. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! Oh, now I'm trapped in the bland cave. You know, that's why you don't call things bland to their face. Always call people bland from a distance where you're safe. Optimism will only take you so far. <laughs> you know, optimism will get me there. I promise you that. Uh, I don't know when, I don't know how, but the optimism will be the solution. So these caves aren't very likely to lead to luck caves. We wanna go into one of the big ones, if that's our plan. Um, but we will find it. I guess what it is, is we need to know where the lush caves are, and we could, like, reverse backwards from there. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I'm gonna find something soon. I am, I'm fairly sure. Also, no, this is terrible. We've learned a lot from your videos, including stuff we weren't even curious about, but Tunnel, uh, turned out to be useful, like deleting the end platform. Uh, that ending was good. I'm glad you liked it. I, um, this is one of those crazy, um, yeah, this is one of those crazy, uh, se like, uh, seeds that's been found this week. Is uh, one of the most broken ends. I, uh, Cracked Magnet's been sharing it already, but it's, but it's blowing my mind. Um, just how, just how broken the end can get. I say, I asked Cracked Magnet something like, what's the, oh, so I did not find it. I, I asked Cracked Magnet, like, so, just out of curiosity, like, can you find, like, weird ends? And he's like, no, I don't think, because most people haven't really focused on the end generation. So he's been working on it and some insane stuff is coming out of it, is what I'll say. Also, there is definitely, definitely a tree around here somewhere. Um, 512 minus 1360 is what uh, Natalie Desaro says. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I, I still have faith that we're going to find one. We, we are slowly scouring the entire continent 
and we will find, again, if not the azalea tree on the surface, which they are, they do exist. They are around here. Then we'll find the ones below the surface. You know, we don't, I don't know where we have to go for it, but we will go and we will sort it. Also, we're slowly getting more leather from this experience. So it's not a terrible overall thing. Just would like, would like the, like the tree, I think. So, um, also we've got so much mushrooms to do just from the mushrooms that we found here. We haven't even had to chop down one of these trees yet. Um, yeah, I, um, you missed some sugarcane. Yeah, the, uh, miss, missing sugarcane sounds bad. That's, uh, that is a drastic mess up. Okay, so just looking over here, um, yeah, what, what are we, what are we seeing now? I see something, no, no tree. I see no tree. Okay, we're gonna have to start just loading into caves. Um, I thought it, it, it's weird because they are, there's a bunch of trees here, but there's also a bunch of non, like it's a big biome, right? Finding, finding any of those things about coordinates, very, very, very challenging. So, um, instead what we do is we take advantage of anything that leads us down. Okay, so that cave there, we're going in. We're seeing where it leads us, and we're assuming that it's going to be lush. At least somewhere in there, right? Or maybe that's, uh, okay, so we're going in, chat. Oh, no, 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 oof. It's fine. You know, I got plenty of food. We, we need to find our wood in here somewhere. So, um, there are some mushrooms over there, but I'm not... I'm not convinced this cave has... Okay, there we go. It's down here. No, yeah, this cave doesn't have the depth. Like, uh, if, it, if we need to be led into a giant cave that leads into more cave. Um, yeah, I'm uh, manifesting a tree. He, uh, there's a bug report for Jarbrishman where the world seed caused the exit portal in the end to get destroyed by the void. Yeah, the, um, the seed I'm talking about is... Um, it's the end portal is at Y0 and there's no end island. So the dragon just like fights you over nothing. It's a very, it's a very terrifying seed, but also it can work out in your favor because in theory, uh, no enderman. So it's one of those, not sure about the good versus the bad of it. Also, is this a lush cave? No, it might lead into something. It's, it's gotta be worth a shot at this point. Uh, so we find, okay, lush, lush down here maybe? No. Lush through here, maybe, maybe just maybe. Really, one we just need one of these caves to leave into a lead into a giant cave, and that will be great. Also, Moo says Harrison Gray. Moo, it is good to see Moo. How are Moo doing? Moo day. There we go. That's my mushroom. It's my best cow-based pun I can do today, or best cow-based in introduction I can do today. Um. So yeah, getting up there, a bit of a struggle. Uh, I guess we'll just follow the... We'll have to place a few blocks here and there. But we will get out and we will find these. The Z needs to be minus 1360. I'm cheating. <laughs> so what you're saying is... Uh, to be fair, we were really close to 500 minus 1360. That was magnificent. Yeah, I think if we want to go to minus 1360, 500. It's not a bad bet to just be like, okay. At some point, we just go there. Um... But yeah, I think on the way we still might find something. So I'm going to... I'm going to just head this way straight across. We'll look right. If we see any trees, we'll go for them. But we'll also accept that maybe, just maybe... Okay, eat the cooked beef. It, it feels so rude, buy sampling. Yeah, that's also an option, right? We could um, post the update where they'll buy things from you. You can always use um, Wandering Traders to get wood soon. Um, or to sell things to him to get saplings, I should say. Let's go right across the biome. This is, is this 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 is a very big place to the point where genuinely keeping your bearings without coordinates would be impossible. Like, oh yeah, just go past the big mushroom and then you'll be in the right place. What does any of that mean, you know? You always build an observational tower, why not now? I think I went really high up in the train and I didn't see something there. That's why I'm like torn like I could build the giant stack up but then what if I still found nothing? Yeah, I think if we get to about minus 1400, and like what we get to the top of this, we'll stack up onto the mushroom, and then from there we'll see what we find. Um, it should be the right place. I, you know, ran ch trusting random chat is not, is not the best of ideas all the time. Um, also, I'm not getting any of this dirt, apparently. There we go. So we'll use this dirt to get on top of the mushroom, and then once we get on top of the mushroom, we'll see what we find. 
Okay, so as you can see, it is very tall up here. Um, so I guess we stack up here. And then a second time, we jump on. Okay, this is my observational tower for the day, chat. Five blocks up. Do you see a tree? We've got to see a tree. I see another ruined portal. That's interesting. By the way, thank you, Aubrey. I want my Toycat tax dollars to go towards shroom pigs. And when you kill them, you get haram mushrooms. <laughs> okay, Aubrey, you're not. I'm going to work towards it. Shroom pigs. Um, so, yeah, looking at it right now, I don't see them, right? Maybe maybe because it's dark. Um, do you see any trees? I see a ruined portal, so that's useful. We can eventually go to the nether and get wood from there, I guess. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, you seen any other wood? Signs? I'm not, honestly. Yeah, this is... We might need to go even higher up if we want a good vibe. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what's over here. How rare are trees on a mushroom biome? Very rare. Um, but you still... Like, it's not impossibly rare. Like, there's like a few... There's like a half dozen across this entire place. And we're just waiting till we find one of them. There is a distinct lack of wood. You know, it's a nice place, though. You know, I've got golden carrots um, sorted. I've got... You know, I... I'm not, I'm not living all the way terribly. So, um, he has a parasocial relationship with these azalea trees, says Jake Leal. <laughs> yeah, I, I just thought the azalea trees wanted to see me too. I'm realizing it's like I'm in Stan, and I'm just like, oh no, I'm, I'm just the super fan. I've got, I got their names carved in me, and I didn't realize that they didn't even know who I was. There's like three on the specific continent. Oh, there's only three on the whole continent. In my mind, it was like, yeah, I saw two here, one there. There's so many of them. But it makes sense that there's not that many lush caves. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this um, ruin portal. The ruin portal is always going to be important. If I've been there already, it's a bad sign for how much I've explored the place, but probably have not been. Although actually, oh no, it, no, it's not sure yet till we go to this side. What's in the ruin portal? Oh, no, we have been here. So, uh, if we just go this way, I believe, um, I believe someone in chat said it was 560, 1360, something like that. Um, we'll see what's over here. I will find it. It'll be great. So, we do have a big cave on the way. No, nope, this is not a big cave. It looks like a cave, but it's just a dip in the terrain. Um, and, um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what's over here, specifically. Do you see a tree? It's weird that I didn't see it from atop that perch. It means they're either way on the other side. Um, or it could mean something else, I guess. Okay, so from uh, 1360, 1340, 1360, we look left and we look right. Where about is it? I see a big lava pit there. Oh no, chat. I think I was bamboozled. I think someone... I think someone, someone said something... That was not correct, and I trusted it. There is no azalea tree here. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. So, um, I love this idea for a challenge. It is a really weird one, huh? Like, what do we- where- okay, so... Let's- 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 let's focus on fundamentals. We can... Keep going along the X or the Z. Yeah, we'll head, head along it a little bit further, and it'll be great. Um... What a nice way to enjoy Minecraft. Watching Minecraft while playing Minecraft with my friends talking about Minecraft. What a beautiful combination, Gummy Ho. I hope that you... I, I think uh, one of the things I'm waiting for... Like, people get into, like, big cycles about, like, Oh, we love Minecraft now. Now we hate Minecraft. It's so dead. Fortnite. Like, uh, I, I can't wait for people to get back into the cycle of, like, You know, Minecraft is beautiful. Because uh, as a community, it feels like... Or as a collector, it feels like the internet goes back and forth on hating it or not. Um, go down. Oh, no, but there's azalea trees on the surface. Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, why, why did I trust someone on the internet? This is why you do your own research. <laughs> what do they mean, go down? There's azalea trees on the surface. Don't lead me to a random spot and say, just go down. It'll be fine. Um, man, what insanity. So thank you very much, by the way, for five gifted memberships, Tracy. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing wonderfully today. Do, 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 do. So new members, you can see a news video for an update that never came out. We, uh, I did something new. I figured, like, okay, I'm gonna be ahead of the curve for once. Um, rather than having to, like, make people wait for an update to come out and what's been gonna be in it. I was like, okay, we'll prepare it ahead of time. We made the whole news video, got it ready to go out, ready to make changes if there was anything new in the update. And then they just announced that it was the first time in forever they just cancelled an update. And so, no. Also, you found a tree. Um, 
Yeah, I cannot, I cannot believe um, what what is being said to me right here. Do 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 do. Um, also, um, Casey Punk, I spy my little eye, the invisible tree, hanging out with the invisible polar bear. Indeed, it is. Okay, so let's get the sugar cane for now, at least. This isn't this isn't a lot of sugar cane, but it's enough to make me feel uh, a little bit validated, right? Um, also, 1550, 400. Okay, so we just got to go back. Um, wait, 1550, then minus 400. Oh god, we got to go back so far. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. Let's go now. Um, pick up the sugar cane. It's a nice amount of sugar cane. And let's go take it back. So, um, yeah, heading heading back to... Uh, so, uh, so, from the video is uh, their point. So, we just got to go this way. We gotta go about a thousand blocks in both directions, or about 400 blocks this way, a thousand blocks this way. So we wanna go mostly this way, and we're gonna need to kill at least one more mushroom to do that. Because obviously we can eat the golden carrots, but I prefer eating my food fresh and easy. Oh, free, free cooked beef from one murder. Just what I love to see. Also, coordinate queen strikes again. Are shipwrecks off limits? Um, I don't think you can say they're off limits, but I'd like to do it without them. I think the longer we can stay just on this main island, the better off we'll be, right? Um, the you know the further we go of just this, it'd be, it'd be the nicer. Uh, there isn't a stronghold below it, so at some point that stops working. But it's a nice idea for now. Um, there are more azalea trees, about 1550 minus 500. Okay, we're almost there, chat. We're just 500 blocks away from salvation, I tell you. The salvation is finally coming. Um, oh, so it's like on that little corner over there. Okay, we can get over there. We can be there. Um, save the carrots for the never. <laughs> That's always a good idea. The never is a scary place. A much scarier place. Maybe, maybe just, just assume that stuff is going to happen there, okay? Um, it's because stuff will happen there that we do need to be prepared for. So let's just, let's just emotionally prepare for that. Um, so yeah, that's, that is exactly the plan. Also, um, there's a cave on the shore. Do, 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 Sorry, I can't hear shore without thinking of a sea shanty. The rune, it's the RuneScape upbringing. It's the RuneScape upbringing. You know, some people were raised by, by like, you know, some people get raised by them, you know, they're like, uh, they're both parents. Some people get raised by one parent. Some people get raised by their grandparents. And I was raised by the, uh, by the RuneScape economy. Also, um, is this just the island from Seed Sunday? I believe the word you're looking for there, friend, is continent. <laughs> and yes. Yes, it is. We're so close now. Okay. So this has been a trek of a lifetime, I have to say. Um, but thankfully, because it's not a stranger in chat, it's uh, it's Dasher, we can be fairly sure that it is, in fact, just around the corner here. Okay, what are we seeing? You, you seeing it yet? Oh, there we go. Okay, so there's, there's the proof. Because there are lush caves below this uh, mushroom biome, to, when a lush cave generates, it has a azalea tree on top of it. And so how do you find the azalea tree? You look around for half an hour. <laughs> and then what do you do? You chop it down. Look at this, chat. It's mine now. The tech tree is moving onwards. Okay, so step one. Nice and nice, nice and done. I don't even know if I want to use the golden axe, but we'll, we'll do it for now, right? So this is my first tree. And then over here, right next to it, is the second tree. They are azaleas. And so it's a little bit weird, but it's fine. It's, uh... We'll just, we'll just take it and move on with it. So now, what we're going to do is we've got to work out a... Oh, but there's a third azalea right over there too. There's a fourth one. Wow, yeah. You, you look all day for an azalea tree, and then you find four at once. <laughs> okay, so now we want to find some stone. We've got wood, but what use is wood without stone? Um, so if we want to find uh, some stone, we're going to have to go into one of these big caves. In fact, these big caves might take me to the... The lush area where we can find some glowberries or something. So, oh yeah, let's let's just grab the stone for now. Let's let's think about everything else later because there's stone and there's coal and they're both very valuable. So easy stuff. Sticks in there. Wooden pickaxe out. Those trees don't give saplings. What do they give you? They give you something, right? It's not a sapling. You're right, but they give you something in exchange. Just sticks. It can't be just sticks. So now, um, yeah, we're gonna take. Ooh. There's more to this cave than it seemed. We're going to take some coal, and I think we're also going to take some copper really, really early on. 
I, um, it's a Minecraft community joke that Mojang went through so much work to add copper and then gave it literally free recipes. Um, but I think the, uh, one of those free recipes is essential for us right here because we're not going to be able to sleep for a while until we kill spiders. How are we ever going to be able to kill spiders? We go in caves, I guess. Um, but yeah, we can't sleep for a while. And so when lightning strikes, I need to have some mushrooms pre-rounded up and ready to be struck. So that's the plan. Let's make it work. Um, working out where we're going to make a base is important. So if this cave is big, we'll start it up here. I think this is an important pre piece of recon. Re yeah, recon. Actually, wait, this mushroom is so huge. That has to be the basis of where I live, right? And then later we can like shear out the ground around it. It's just such a nice mushroom. Or maybe this one would be safer. We'll put some like ladders on it and we'll we'll live the fancy way. Yeah, we could do that. Put some like red stained glass in there. It's not that big on the inside. So we could do a probably expanding this mushroom. I do have the silk touch, so I can do that really early on. Um, maybe we could take this red stuff, put it around that and make like a hybrid mushroom. Because then if you look at the space we'd have on the inside. Yeah, yeah, I think we're going to do that. I think this seems like a poor use of ingredients, but... You know, we must do it, and so I shall. Um, we'll grab as much red as we think we need. I don't know how much that is, but we'll just kind of vibe it out. Um, we'll grab as much as this axe will let me get, rather. And I'm going to have the best silk touch <laughs> house in the land. Which just, okay, there we go. That's that's all we're getting out of it. So we now have 22 red mushroom blocks, 23. I'm going to have to go for a 24th. I can't, oh wait, there we go, 24. And so we're going to put six on each side of this. Um, that's doable, right? No, that is not doable. We could put 12 on two sides, or we could go of like eight on three sides. So given that this is about six long, we'd have like six there, one there, six there, one there, six there. That's rough, but it's what we're gonna have to do, I think. Okay, so that's what we're, that's what we're gonna do right here, right now. We'll get some grass up there, I think, so we can maybe have yeah, let's cover one of these mushrooms in grass instead, actually. Um, yeah, this this will be my this will be my farm um, where I'm gonna hopefully grow some stuff, and this is gonna be my oh no, it won't work, it won't work, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, and then this can be my main base mushroom. So the first thing we need to do, uh, obviously we've got a lot of lot of things we need otherwise, but we'll place a crafting table just in the area, and then we'll make some ladders. Actually, the trees have probably left me a lot of sticks. I might as well use those sticks uh, before I use these ones. Although, did I go this way? Yeah, I think I did, but I don't see the... I don't see the azalea anymore. Okay, we grab our sticks as soon as we can. Uh, yeah, there they are. Okay, so we chop, we, we grab those, uh, whatever remnants we can find. And then after we've got our sticks, we put together ladders and we, make a, we work on a base, basically. And given that the only mob I can imagine would be here is a phantom. Oh, look, there we go. We got a flowering azalea. See, isn't it so weird that someone says something and it just sounds so true, but then just isn't. We've got all this rooted dirt as well, which might be useful at some point, but it's not, not, my, not my duty to care. Now I want to make a mushroom house in a savannah biome. Yeah, the weirder the biome you make your mushroom house in, I think the better it's going to be. That would be my, that would be my take at least. So there is a second tree that I chopped down over here. And so there'll just be a few sticks hanging around. I think we went all this way and we've ended up with like three sticks by the way. But sure, we got a flowering azalea, we got some regular azalea. We can we can make more trees now, just really unconventional trees. Although getting, there's no way to get skeletons without going underground. So we'd have to make a composter or something. Also mushroom is my favorite biome, says Danny Bun. Thank you, Danny Bun. First of all, for the tip. Appreciate you paying the toy cat tax. But second of all, for, um, Agreeing with me that this is great. Okay, so we're gonna place this down on the ground here. Oh, you can place it on mycelium. I wouldn't have guessed that you would be able to do that. And then we'll place six around it just over here. Oh, you can jump on them too, that's fun. Um, we'll place six around it just like so. Nice, nice little pattern we've got going on there. We'll see if any of that ever comes to grow. I don't imagine it will. And now we can uh, just use the three sticks we found plus the others we didn't have to find. Uh, to make at least six ladders. I think we need nine, though, to be real with you. So now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we need more than this. Also, how long have you been doing your YouTube career? Says uh, UMC Medic. 
Um, so I used to do YouTube in the days before there was uh, monetization. That makes me sound like an old man now. Um, but my, um, I remember they added, like uh, it was before they had monetization for gaming channels. And so uh, I would only make money on non-gaming videos. So it'd be like once every two years, YouTube would pay me 60 pounds. And I'd be like, whoa, money. Um, it was incredible. And so eventually they added, um, they, they allowed like gaming channels to partner through weird ways. Also, my client is watching with me. Hi, John. You know what? Sasquatch2300, your client, he, sorry, wait, you, you, sorry, Sasquatch2300's client, I just want you to know that your guy, he, he's a very smart man. He knows what he's doing and you should trust him with all your business decisions and all, all your other decisions too, honestly. You should, there shouldn't, there should be no decision that you don't trust this fella with. Trust me when I say that. Okay, so we're going to make some mushrooms over here and we're going to just place them down from the side. And um, we need to have an open side of this. So looking there is nice. Looking there is nice. I think you want to look over... Probably over this, actually. I think seeing that in the distance is interesting. Um, no, we'll, we'll have we'll have this be the main view. No, we'll have that be the main view. See the azaleas behind me? It'll be nice. So we'll now cover up everything else, which involves placing a block here on the inside and then more around the outside. You know, this is all very confusing to me, chat, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice house. Um we'll we'll place the blocks down further down later too. It's a whole thing that we can choose to do. But for now, do you like the look of it, chat? <laughs> do you like my house I'm putting together? I think it's going great. So yeah, we'll make some slabs and we'll place the slabs like a block lower down, I think. Uh we can even use like No, I think wood's the best that we're gonna have for this. So we'll make as many slabs as we can bear. 36 seems fair. And then we'll we'll make a floor for our house, with this being just an abnormally high whatever it is. So down here, maybe like a half block floor? No, no, a full block floor. And then we can start to place like uh, everything else that we need to. And then also from here, we can go, this is a bit of a weird one. We can go around here. We could probably just saw this block in half and then we can uh, go through it. Also, um, yeah, I, uh, UMC Medic, uh, how long have you been doing your YouTube career? Um, I, um, I've been doing it since, uh, like, before then. And then at some point, while I was in college, it was like, what what I was doing, I, I, I went really hard on YouTube because it was way more fun than what I was, like, training to do. And then in my last year of doing computer science, I looked at, like, the, the amount you could make as, you know, from that degree. And the average earnings were very much, it was, like, about the same, but slightly less than what you could make, you know, what, what I was making on YouTube. And I was like, this is me doing it with like just my spare time. If I went full time on this and put everything into it, I wonder how well it will go. And the answer to how well it can go is <laughs> what you're looking at right now, I guess, for, for better or worse. Um, yeah, that's the basic answer to your question. Uh, so it was 2012 now, I think was my last year of college. So just under 10 years. Oh man, I'm an old man. Um, oh, back when I started me career, it was so much simpler. Back then, we didn't have algorithms. We see, I, I don't, I don't know why you have to be Irish to work a career for so many years. <laughs> uh, but apparently, it's true. Only the Irish are hard workers. Let me tell you. Um, okay, so we're gonna put some windows in now. Um, we probably should have planned windows before that, but I think a window would go nicely over here. And so this will be the main side. We'll put two there. Oh, yeah, this isn't going to work. And then we'll have to place a block here. And then the five... Oh, no, this this does work. We've got plenty enough to do precisely that. And then also place an extra one over here and over here. And then we'll get some red stained glass so that we have... We can see out through the window, right? But the main view is going to be this way. Okay, wonderful. And now we just finish the rest of these blocks so that there's no empty spaces. Wonderful. Chat, I have a house now. Do you like it? It's going to have my chest in here. Uh, my chest can go... I guess if we're going to have a window, we should put our stuff below the window. But no, we're going to have a mega storage chest system. Logically, right? Always goes that way. Um, so the chest will go over here. My furnace and my crafting table. Maybe my bed can go here. Yeah, there we go. We got a plan. It is sorted. Why do you need a house? Why does anyone need a house, Dan? The answer is you don't. But when you play Minecraft, 
sometimes it adds to the beauty to make one anyway. So we do have some coal, but I don't have any sticks now. So we're going to have to make um, a axe real quick. And then we'll use the axe to chop down some trees. And then we'll make some torches, just because it's dark. There's no other reason. They're not required or anything. I guess we'll also get a furnace running for the house, because I want to get uh, lightning rods as soon as I can. Getting brown mushrooms is going to be game-changing. Very, very much game-changing. So, um, I don't have uh, a house in my Minecraft world, says Clary Frey. Yeah, I, the Nomad Challenge is something I really recommend for people who think that you need to have a house. It's a really nice, you know, like, have. It's a nice thing you can choose to do. But if you ever find yourself being like, oh, I'm gonna make a house, just remember it's an option. Almost anything that ever becomes a chore it becomes an option at some point. You just gotta be great. You gotta be brave enough to make it one. So now we make a furnace, and we also want to make a axe, right? We don't have the sticks to make an axe, though, right? That's a that's a funny dilemma to be in. So instead, we just use this axe, and we'll go chop down that tree there. It's the closest tree I've got. I kind of don't want to because it's the closest tree, actually. We'll go chop down this one, and then that that will tide me over until I can find some bone mills to actually get more wood. Because this is all the wood in my in my existence. I build houses that only become half-finished while I make all my farm, says Seb P. Yeah, and to you, Seb P, I would say try making a house, uh, try making a world about farms, for example. See how that goes for you. Like, I think every time, every time you've got, like, a crutch version of something, try living without it. You either learn why you appreciate it so much, or you learn that you don't need it. You're just doing it because it's how you did things. Um, I started No Man Challenge with my friend this month. Hey, that's fun. My Minecraft house turned into a storage house with alleys in it, so I sleep in a bed outside so they won't escape. <laughs> yeah, having, um, having decent ways for you to get in, but not other things. Oh, Wandering Trader. If we can just find some emerald ore, we'll be in for a treat. Are we going to find emeralds around here, chat? What do you reckon? Slinky, Toy Cat Tax can't stay on, so we'll catch the stream tomorrow night. Good luck. Thank you for the Toy Cat Tax. Um, also, um, VSDR says um, the things you can do of $2. It should be noted. Um, it should be noted that technically speaking... Also, we're going to put the fuel in there now, like half of these, as well as that. Oh, yeah, it's nice. And then we can put on some torches. We don't need the torches, honestly. So we could probably use weird, quirky soul torches everywhere. Yeah, I like that idea of using soul lanterns, maybe, um, all the way up here. Because I've got I've got the iron nuggets for it anyway. Yeah, I think maybe we could do that. And that would be a fun idea. Uh, we are going to probably want a crafting table at some point. But now is not necessarily some point. And, uh, yeah, let's chop down these blocks now. It's kind of getting in the way. So, there. And these aren't necessary anymore. See, the house is just coming together nicely now. Yeah, we, we're we missing a few blocks that could be good. But we'll just we'll find the closest thing we can, whatever that may be, and we'll fit in the blocks. So, now we're going into the cave, and we're going to get some iron to sustain ourselves even further. Um, but, yeah, I, uh, I really think that... Getting to the iron tier is going to be where things change. Also, now that we know where the azaleas are, we know gu guaranteed where we can find a cave. So, if we don't find iron here, it's not a big loss. I would like to find iron here. But if we don't, again, yeah, everything is okay. Everything is just fine. And we are going to be just fine. Oh, should we go down? Yeah, let's go down. Let's let's see what... It oh, there's the lush cave. Okay, so that's, that's one way in, I guess. <laughs> Um, tasty red wine with Toy Cat and Xanax. You know, I do not ind endorse taking drugs that have an X at the start and the end of them. It's just asking for trouble. It's like, you know, when you put a bunch of Zs in something, it's how you sound extra cool. It's, uh, it's the same thing with drugs. They're like, okay, people are not going to trust this. What, when, when we describe the side effects, they're going to need to think the name is so serious that they, that they, we don't even have to regulate them. And that's how Xanax came to be. Trust me, that's a true story. 100% factual. Zero exaggeration. <laughs> okay, so iron, by the way, we do not actually see any. It's very odd that we don't. You definitely would expect to see some by now. I hope the Toycat taxes cover a pension. So old. Yeah, right. I mean, t 10 years into my... 10 years into my career. Oh, let me tell you, when I was a young lad, I used to I used to burn the midnight oil at both ends. But now, now you see, I'm a responsible adult. I've got a family to come home to. Um, also, I hope Toy Cat um, Tax Cover Attention is a funny, 
funny point. But if you're curious, it actually, I do make pension contributions in part from my YouTube income. And so in a <laughs> non-ridiculous way, it does. But uh, I don't think anyone else cares. I just, I, in the UK, is if you work for a company, you have to make, I think it's 3% minimum pension uh, contribution. Um, but I, 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 I make, actually, I don't know if I make more or less than that, but I, I make a certain amount every month. Um, I think as a self-employed person, pensions are a bit of a different game than when you work at a company, but do you want to talk about pensions? Okay, so what's, 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 what's even less exciting than pensions? Uh, taxes, gardening policy, zoning, um, zoning laws. What, what, what's, what's more riveting that we can talk about? <laughs> do you guys want to talk about, uh, you know, like, uh, it's, it's, it's a fun thing. But yeah, so I, I, I think like... The idea of a pension is a really good thing for the overwhelming majority of people. And you probably should be in one. But also, there's a lot of, like, you know, like, catches on that comment where it's like, well, also... Oh, so, so yeah, we want to go through this cave, by the way. This is going to be the way that we go to the surface. And we're going to start our cave entrance into this. Uh, although, we could just also just not... If it's if it's too much effort to cave around it... Yeah, when, it, when a cave makes you go through this much work... You might as well just not. And so we'll just dig straight from here up to the surface. Um, now, please start composting mushrooms to grow more trees. See, here's the thing. What if I didn't need to grow more trees using uh, bone mill? Because there was a whole biome full of them. Wait, there, there's no there's no azalea trees in here. But what if, what if that was true? It'd be cool if it was. It clearly is not, but I mean, would be nice, right? Would be nice. So now we're going to start heading upwards. And we're gonna start the heat reps and ibuprofen for that first time old YouTuber toy cat's back <laughs> goes out fund. Those heat wraps are expensive. Man, old man, old I, man, I old have, man. Oh man, you know, call me an old man three times. Shame on you. Call me an old man three times via emoji. Shame on me. But um, uh, or via you know via super chat. Shame on me. Because yeah, you know, via via the voice uh, that she does at least. Uh, if you don't know, ten dollars gets you text to speech, which uh. One of those dangerous rules that can get you banned from places, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, the everyone I know, every man goes through this phase, right? It's a very male problem of like, oh yeah, blew out my back. And it's like, it's so scary sounding to me that like, oh yeah, now it just hurts to sit. It hurts to lay. It hurts to stand. And it's like, that sounds bad. I don't want that. I, d I want a better back. What do I have to do for that? Um, one of the other things that sounds awful I'm really lucky I've only had it really mildly, but RSI, repetitive strain injury. Um, a lot of YouTubers especially get it. One of my, like, secret sources is using a controller is really good for preventing it. Like, if you switch input methods regularly, you don't use the same muscles all the time. Um, but a lot of people, yeah, really strain their... It's, it's terrible. How, how awful. That old man text to speech sounded like a genuine bully, right? Yeah, it did. It was, uh... Um, it, w it was like, a old man, old man, old man... Let, let the young people go in and do this, because you are old man. Um, it was very funny. Also, um, yeah, back pain is one of the things humanity has failed to fix. I think that's one of those useful reminders that, like, um, you know, some people, I, I, I remember, I, I, I heard the joke once. that like, oh, yeah, well, if, uh, if men had periods, they'd be, you know, they'd be complaining all the time, wouldn't be expected to suffer in sons, it'd be national holiday. But it's also like, there are all sorts of pain that you are expected to go through as a man entirely like, you know, like you, you mention it even. It's like, oh, what's that? You're too weak to... <laughs> and, it, you know, in, in a good way, like, there's a, there's a reason why at least that comes from that. It doesn't really work in a in modern day society. But I, th I think it's interesting that, like, how sometimes, like, sometimes the genders have a poor understanding of each other. There's all sorts of things I don't understand about women, right? And I would love to... I would be lying if I pretended I did. But I think uh, when people pretend they know perfectly, like something they don't understand exists this way, and it's because of insert bland evil reasons. It's like ah, probably not. Also, I got RSI from knitting. I can't do it from long periods anymore. So Xavier, see that's actually that, that's pretty fun to me actually. Like the it makes sense that knitting would give you those things, but I didn't even think about it. Also, Toy Cat is not old. In fact, current Toy Cat is the newest version. Says Bearded Man. That's what I'm talking about. Version 1.28. Oh, wait. Yeah, 1.28, I guess. I was in beta for a little bit, but thankfully I made it out of beta into the real world. Um, yeah, I was, I was in beta for about nine months. And uh, unlike some people, a lot of people don't go through alpha. 
they go into beta kind of by accident. Uh, I was in alpha, you know, I was like a prototype, an early, uh, early concept art, um, for at least a little bit before I came out, which uh, is the same can't be said about my brother. So we're going to put the useless stuff in here now. Like, I, I like the fire charges. We don't need them right now. I like um, the rooted dirt. Do we need that ever? Do I like rooted dirt? I don't think I do. I think I'm being... I think I'm lying to you when I say that I like it. So we'll put this in there just so we don't waste another coal for one single iron. And then we'll make an iron pickaxe, I think. Um, and the iron pickaxe will be the goal to allow us to go further. So, um, yeah, I think um, a bucket has got to be the second thing on the list. Once we get a bucket, we can immediately go to the nether, which I think is a smart place to go. I think I think we probably should be going there soon. Um, I want to have a decent wood source worked out here, but we don't even need a decent wood source. It's just solely it would be a nice thing. And also, I'd like to have a pen with my uh, cows, or rather some mushrooms, in it. So yeah, we can't... Um, it just hit me now that we can't actually get the mushrooms in one place very easily. So I'll make some stone walls using cobblestone, or whatever the cheapest ingredient they have is. Granite walls and andesite walls. Is that the best we got? Can you make polished granite walls? Is that a thing that exists? Um, I think it does, but just to confirm. Nope, you can only get regular granite walls. Okay, so we'll make 12 granite walls and 6 andesite walls. That seems fair to me. We use just a, and then we'll use a fence gate to get in and out of it. So a fence gate is made with, oh God, if I know. No one ever knows the recipe for a fence gate, damn it. Um, it's not sticks, it's slabs, maybe? It's, uh... Oh, it's just more sticks. I feel like I have enough sticks. How many sticks do I have? Just two? Okay, so we'll make some sticks. And then we'll make a fence gate. What else do we need for a... There's, there we go, fence gate. So now we take two mushrooms that are close enough together. So they've gone further apart since I mentioned that. Um, which is a problem. Not what I want, ideally. Uh, we just want to find two mushrooms really close together. And as close together to my base as they can also be. Hey! Dutch MTC, thank you so much for becoming a channel member. Oh, perfect, perfect. Right there, they're already together. Um, no, 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 stay with him, stay with him, stay with him. Um, okay, so we just build a big wall around him. Uh, we can work out the finer details later. Um, okay, so, um... We're missing, we're missing a lot of important steps for this, I feel like. Okay, so there we go. That is my very rough cut. <laughs> hey, wait. Oh, whoa, Dutch NPC, not just becoming a member, gifting some memberships too. Not just gifting some memberships, gifting 20 memberships at the same time. Absolutely crazy. Do, 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 do. Also, how did the cow get out? No, all of that work. And they're both just gonna climb out like that. You can't do this to me. I don't allow it. Ugh. Okay, so we'll place, we'll place like, we'll make it easy for them to get in, but then not to get out. We you just wait till we get wheat to do this, honestly? But no, just in case. Do, 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 do. Thank you so much, Dutch MTC, for gifting 20 memberships. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we're gonna just shove him up. He's gonna go up there. No, he won't. They can only walk up. We can make some slabs, I guess. I've got a slab right here. Do, 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 do. We're gonna get a lot of pig step, and I'm in for it. Thank I, I am. This is my favorite thing. Oh, he's, he's just gonna climb in naturally, huh? Yeah, you are. In you go. In you go. In. No, how? No, damn, I hate you so much. Um, <laughs> this is the ugliest cow pen I've ever seen. And it still didn't work, chat. You make one little mistake. One mistake. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we'll see if they come back in, maybe. Uh, we'll make, like, a slab there. And we'll kind of punch them. Oh, they're not going to survive the lightning strike by punching them. Okay, that's fine. That's that's entirely okay. That's We, we, ignore, we ignore that. That was version 1. That was version 0.5. Do, do. Do, 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 Okay, so we just pretend that didn't happen. Sounds good. And then we're gonna go... We're gonna get that smelted up iron. Indeed, and get some lava going. And then we're also gonna smelt up the raw beef. Just having having a decent supply of that. Game changer. Um, are you prefer pick up over other side? My favorite is other side. Honestly, other side is really good. Really, really, really good. Great song. Love it a lot. Um... 
I wouldn't say I prefer pick step over it, but it just it just it has that special place in my heart. No matter how hard I try to put something else in it, it just won't be the same. Do 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 do. Okay, so we need to get a bucket. That is my. I need to put a crafting table up here, really. Let's just do that. Let's just save myself the pain of every time I need to think about this. Um, the crafting table can go uh, right over here, I guess. Oh, it's raining. Please don't thunder. If it thunders, it will break my soul right now. It will actually break it all. I'll have no more soul left. And that will be bad because I need my soul. No, of course it does. I was so prepared for this. Chat, I'm telling you, I did everything that I could have done. Oh my god. Okay. Um, this is ridiculous. I... Um, no, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, so... Um, okay, so we just, we're just gonna... Um, there we go. We got a cow. If it is... It, the, the game knew, or the cows knew what I was gonna do to them. And I am very upset by their attempts to avoid it. Also, some perfect short hug. <laughs> you know, that's the good news. Is we'll get a great YouTube short out of that chat. Um, no, that is that is painful, but it is what happened. We must now accept that and move on. Um, also, please don't be the one lightning strike. If lightning hates me this much, I really can't stress how awful that will be. Oh no. Please, please tell me it's not how it is. Do, 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 do. So I'm going to guess this is where I came out of my cave, by the way, because it's three random blocks in a row. Am I right? I am. So we're going to make this nice and obvious. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I gotta, gotta, gotta love the membership song. Get a lead from the trader. Yeah, honestly, you're right. The lead. I'm going to feel bad about doing it, but I think I should. Um, we're also going to make a basic entrance to the mine. Uh, we can make it nicer at later. But this is just a, a nice simple one to be like, this is how I go in. Um, so I, I always recommend having something like this. Just some above ground structure. So you don't ever get too lost. Um, so these go up that high. And these will go up one more. And then, see, it's, it's fairly simple. Oh, it happened! Chat! Okay, okay. Do I have a brown mushroom now? Why did it despawn? <laughs> the game is insisting on in doing this to me. It is, it is malicious at this point. There is no other explanation, right? What, what? I how? Why would you despawn? I was so close by. Okay, so we just have to stand next to a mushroom, and then hope for the best. Now, this is this is, the. Um, so yeah, we need we need the brown mushroom is gonna be. I do. Where do the mushrooms go, chat? But how did they all despawn? You can't... You can't tell me that's okay. What? I... I just... Uh, come on. How often do you get lightning in one of these worlds? How often is that gonna happen? Oh. The, the game hates me. That's fine. I understand how it is, Minecraft. It's, it's cool. Don't like you either. You smell bad. You got bad teeth. And you, 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 you don't, you don't have enough variety for me anyway. You know, I'll, I'll go play that other game with the, with the, with the blocks. Man, I love that game so much. It's so, never, never screwed me out for red, brown mushroom. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go play that one. Oh, it sounds so much more fun to me. Oh, there's lava over there, by the way. So we really can go straight to the never. Yeah, this is my, I, 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 I don't know why the overworld decided to do this to me, but it has really hurt my feelings. Um, they despawn and now they can't spawn again at night unless you light up the place. Okay, the good news is I'm willing to light up the place. Bad news is I don't think that's enough. But yeah, what would have... Just... Why? Why did they despawn? You're not... They're not meant to despawn in a hot... I'm... Sorry, I'm going through the stages of grief now, chat. This is my denial phase. Mobs aren't meant to despawn, therefore there's a brown mushroom there still. He's just invisible. That's gotta be the case, right? I don't see any other explanation. I see no other way to explain it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna light some torches, and we're just gonna stare 
We're going to see where it leads us. Um, we'll place this down here just in case. I want to at least have some funniness from this. But yeah, just place a few torches around. Um, so now, can mushrooms spawn here? The answer is probably not. I mean, it is the right light level, right? Do they care about natural versus not natural light? For their feelings, um, mushrooms don't spawn at light. <coughs> Why don't you take the trader's lead? I don't think I would... Um, I don't think the, tr the lead is going to help me if I can't find mushrooms. I mean, I guess I could take the trader llama. Time up to something, I guess. Yeah, let's go do that. You know what? Let's put the trade alarm up in a little hole somewhere. Um, you know, if I've, if I've made this place already, let's put the trading llama in there. And let's see what happens when he gets struck by lightning. Um, let's just see what happens. So, in we go. And place a lightning rod. And then we'll just leave him. I guess we could tie him to the fence. Oh, there's no fences. It's all... It's all this. Uh, that's fine. You know, I'll just untie it. And then we'll leave him inside here. And because he's in a constrained area, he will stay there forever. And eventually we'll get a, a brown wandering trading llama. That's definitely how it's going to work. Um, I've had things die from lightning before. <laughs> yeah, not, not the only one, sadly. Um, man, that really is rough, though. That really is rough. I'm now going to place a lava bucket just like here somewhere. We can later use this to make a source of it. Always a good thing. And then we're going to go grab some water and go to the nether. Actually, no, we need we need some wood. We'll get our food. We'll get some wood. And then we'll go to the nether. It'll be nice and good. Okay, so five pork chops or beef chops. That'll do me fine. Um... I'm just, I'm so bu- Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, chat. Let's see what happened. Let's see what he became. <laughs> okay. Do you want the good news or the bad news? The good news is it works. The bad news is it looks like our guy- Is he just gonna die at some point? Is that how this goes? Or uh, it, it looks like how- It looks like how this would go, huh? Um. Yeah, I think we, we probably need to place it more centered in this place. Um. Yeah, we probably want it to be like one block to the right there, but that's fine. We'll just do that. Um, we'll move these walls inwards a bit, because right now it's a little bit messy, if we're being totally honest, right? Um, we'll move the walls inwards to fill this gap. So we'll move the walls in one at a time. Okay, so granite wall there. And then we'll move a andesite wall. Oh, no, 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 you don't. No, you don't. It's so crazy how they can see the way out. It's like it's like they actually want to be let go. Um, and then we're going to put some block over here. A couple gravel blocks or something. I don't know. And then we'll use the andesite wall over here. Oh, no, no, you don't. No, you don't. And now we have to make some more gravel blocks. There we go. Not coming out anymore. <laughs> also, uh, nice to catch up on a stream. Might catch some more. Now the Australian beekeeping season has started. Gotta keep get up a few early anyway. Um, anyway, here's some tax from a penal colony. I would love to know what... Uh, 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 you know what? Bees Madden, there's no way you're actually a beekeeper, right? That's a joke. Or is it? You know, people do weirder professions. There are people who who do... do you get this right. There are people who just talk about and play Minecraft all day. I found about it because my, my son's kid does it. So wild, innit? It's, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there's a way out. I did not see coming. Um, so now we just have to let him back in. I guess we got a lead for this guy, so it's it's actually no harm to just let him out and then bring him back in. Um, so yeah, oh, and then we got to fill in that gap from over there. Should be easy enough to do also. So we'll just go in here, take this and move it over there. And then we'll probably need to move this, but over here. And then we'll move one of these corners. And there we go, chat. Isn't it perfect? If you tell me this isn't perfect, I'll be sad. But yeah, we, we, we're in. He's out. That He's mostly close to the thing. And now we can eventually let some brown mushrooms in. Is this, is this Does this make any sense as an idea? No, it does not. Does that not mean... Does that mean it's not great anyway? You better believe it doesn't not, not mean that. Okay, so in we go. 
to the cave. Actually, we want to go back to our main entrance over here. We could probably make a path. Yeah, well, let's make a path from the... This is not my mushroom. Like, let's make a path from my mushroom to it. Uh, oh, wow. Look at this. Okay, so one at a time, we're going to lead them in there. And then they're going to stay, maybe, if we just ask nicely. Yeah, that's my plan. I'll ask real nicely for them to stay. And we'll see if it works. Um, couldn't the llama get out of that corner? You mean the same corner I got out of, or a different one? Yeah, we just we just want one guy in here. That's all it takes. I mean, really, two would be nice for a breeding pair, but I'll take one. I'll take just the one guy. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll turn this into a fence gate. Which means now we can get in and out. Now we can remove some of these rough corners. Just make it look a little bit nicer, right? Just a little bit a little bit tidier here and there. And then we hope that they don't walk out in any obvious way. That shouldn't be possible. Let's find out if it isn't. Break these fences or walls or whatever. Bring them with me. Uh, maybe place the gravel down under here. Speaking of down under, Mr. Beekeeper. What's the deal with beekeeping? Is it, is it, does it, is it a good profession? Do people want to be beekeepers or is that like, is it like a sentence they put on people? Like, it's like jury duty. Where like, someone has to do it and today we've decided it's you. I just want to know. That corner block should be a wall. Um, yeah, this one here, I agree. Let's, let's make that into a wall. And we'll make this into a wall. There we go. Okay, it's finally coming together now. Now we can take an andesite wall and put it over here. Um, please move out of the way. And then we can take the last granite wall and move it over here. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, but we'll do it anyway. There we go. Oh, that makes it way worse, actually. That gives, like, a way out. So we move this block now and replace this with gravel. You know, we just won't replace it. It's perfect the way it is. Yep, there is no issue of this. <laughs> um, don't worry, it looks just like Tower Bridge. Exactly, Dasha, it looks exactly the same. I see no issue <laughs> with it. Um, also, thank you. Wait, it's badger, gonna do. Badger, 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 mushroom, 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 badger, 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 badger. That man, the the fact, the speed that you can get that back into my head. Um, oh no, it's a snake, it's a snake. Badger, badger, badger. You know, the early internet used to be so simple. I had an idea recently. I, uh, I saw, I saw one of like, you know, there's, there's, lo there's always these famous old clips that like go re-viral again. But nowadays, the easiest way to make something go viral is you like, you know, you zoomify it. Like, uh, you make it into a, a TikTok or a YouTube short or whatever else. Like, you, you gotta, you know, acknowledge that the audience today has less less attention span than the audience of before, um, but also like to watch things through video, right? There's a there's a there's a certain few things that become true. Also, yeah, we need to kill enough of these guys to get. Um, we'll just kill them with this, I guess. Oh yeah, I, I'll use the shovel, but I don't love it. Um, but yeah, basically, um, because of that, you can just take like old famous things that people find funny, put them in the new format, and worst case, people be like, oh yeah, this is the thing I used to love. And best case, you introduce a whole new audience to, like, the badger, badger, badger meme. Um, I looked at a few Harlem Shake videos recently. What a nostalgia trip. I don't believe the Harlem Shake was a real thing. It just, it, no, when was it ever a real thing? You know, it was always a, a thing of a thing of a thing. Of people being like, oh, it was funny when that one time. But also, it's, I, I feel nostalgia for it too. So maybe it is. Maybe I'm just being a grumpy old man about it. It's so weird. Uh, also, this is just so scary. Um, also, there's no trees. I, the whole promise of this biome to me was was finding a tree, uh, but it seems instead that we'll go the skeleton way um, until he is dead. Um, I guess we should also make ourselves a. Um, we should make a sword. Like, let's just let's stop using whatever tool we feel like on the moment. Let's make an iron sword, and also let's put on this tunic. No, nope, we don't need a tunic. I guess we kind of want the tunic. It's very silly, though. Also, let's get some water going so we can finally... Um, the sooner we have water... Oh, gosh. The sooner we have water, the sooner we can uh, put our sugar cane down and begin our empire. So now we just replace this with that. Um, we also have a bow now, which is exciting. 
I almost, I feel like you always get a bow when you don't expect or want one. Um, that is my observation. We don't really need gunpowder, so I'm not going to make that a focus. I'm just going to try and find a tree somewhere in this biome. I guess they don't spawn. I guess we only get the, the sap. The I, I, I'm, I've been imagining azaleas of wood this whole time. And I think I've been wrong. I think I just find the saplings, which I then need bone meal to grow anyway. So I could get a bunch of moss and put it in my composter. I think that's as good as we're doing, honestly. Um, we could also try and find a mine shaft to find some melon seeds. I quite like that as an idea, huh? Um, yeah, I like that as an idea. Let's see if we can make that work. We'll, we'll get all the azalea trees we can, because worst case, they go in the grinder. Best case, they become something special. Uh, so we'll make a second spot for the other type of these. And then we'll free up... Ooh, what are we getting rid of, chat? The bow? No. The andesite? Maybe. The, the regular cobblestone? I'll get more regular cobblestone. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Get rid of cobblestone. Pick up azalea trees. Um... We're gonna have so many azalea trees on the surface. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna terraform the biome into one that has trees. That solves my word problem, or it would solve it. Okay, yeah, we're fine. A little bit scared, but fine. Ooh, yeah, this is a scary biome to go, to go honkering around. Is honkering around a valid way to describe what we're doing here? I just wish I had a bucket full of water. Without one, I guess we'll use andesite. Should have used cobblestone, really. Um, wish I had some of that. Wish I could find some cobblestone around here, chat. Um, but yeah, instead we'll just jump from uh, place to place. Trying to take as little full damage as possible. See what we got down here. There's some gold ore, which is nice. Definitely could get my hands on some of that. Do some good things. Um, there's an enderman over here. And there's some lily pads. I don't think we have much use for most of that. Is this still below the Mushroom Island? Yes, it is. Uh, we need to get out of here soon, but we are gonna be going out. Ooh. Uh, we're gonna be leaving with a lot of green material, which is what I like to see. Uh, we'll take moss blocks as well, actually. I don't know where I'll fit the moss blocks, but we'll try and, we'll try and take as many moss blocks as we can. Um, my inventory is just a mess. We'll just make these into torches. There we go. Do we pick up the moss blocks? Yes, we did. So, oh, so wait, there's seeds here. Can we find regular, if we find regular wheat, we don't, we don't, probably don't need it that badly, but it's nice to be able to start a farm. Yeah, we can get regular seeds for regular wheat. That's an exciting idea. So yeah, we'll get a ton of moss, which we can bone mill later. Um, yeah, yeah, that's nice. Okay, let's get out of here and let's get back to that surface. There's just so much moss around huh? We'd also grab glow berries. Um, I think glow berries are not a terrible idea. And we could also go deeper in the cave to look for diamonds. Which, given that we're going to the nether, seems like something we'd want to do, right? Just, you know, feeling it out. It feels like maybe we could do that. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Are we, are we going to do it, chat? Are we going to make the, make the lunge, the plunge? Um, you know, I don't think, I, I guess we can look from up here in the same way we did earlier. Let's just see, let's see what the game offers me before we offer ourselves to the game. Uh, do you see any diamonds? I see gold. I see redstone. Redstone is not going to help me at all. Yeah, I think we, we don't need this. That's good. It's good that we don't need it, but we don't. Um, so yeah, we're going to now, oh. I thought I saw diamonds. There was no way there was going to be diamonds down there, but I thought I did anyway. So we should be able to easily follow this to get back up, thankfully. Because this looks like where I was before. Um, and... Oh, what is this? Oh, the biome gets deeper. It's so huge. There's so much to it. Um, yeah, we're going to find a lot of whatever we want down here. I can make some fun lily pad um, game eventually. But yeah, for now, you could make a portal down there. Yeah, honestly, right? I have the the water exists and there's a big pit of lava. I think I I think your first portal, if you want to stick with a world for any amount of time, should be at the surface. That's my like uh it's my casual pro tip I would say. Is make the first portal higher up than you might assume. Okay, so down we go. And across to 390. 
what we got. This is making me wish the Caveman series was still going, says Cranial. I wouldn't say the Caveman series isn't going. I would just say I like taking a little break. <laughs> I um, I would like to do a grand return, maybe. Um, come, come back with something big and fun. Um, also, Mushroom. How would you say Mushroom in a different way? Mushroom? No, I'm not even sure. Also, yeah, we're going to now just tear our way out of here. Make a nice high set staircase, which is always good. You're playing on PC, but using Bedrock instead of Java. Why? How can you tell I'm playing on PC? I've got my Xbox controller here, which I am using because it was very much turned on there. Um, it is weird. At some point, I switched over from uh, controller to keyboard mouse. Um, patiently waiting on the Flat World's return. I think I have some bad news about the Flat World, I will say. Um, but, um, yeah, I think I do. Meow, sure. The important thing... The most important thing is we're going to be okay. What's our new? <laughs> yeah, I, um, it's not bad news I want. I, uh, I'll say that much, but it might be bad news that I have anyway. Um, ruh, ruh. Okay, so in goes little tunic. The bow for now, it's just like, it's pre pretty weak. It'd be good for the never though, but we're not going to deal with that now. The string, uh, the iron seems like a good thing to throw in. Oh, we don't have any, uh, any smelting stuff. That's fine. We'll we'll be, just, we'll be just great without it. And now the rooted dirt too. Just you know, and, and the grass. Let's set this up right here. Let's um, let's place my one slab over. Now we can place grass. One, two, three, four, five. I think this is the best way to place grass to then be perfectly offset by the dirt. And then we'll just, we'll grow grass on top of this mushroom. I don't know for sure if there's any need to have grass on top of this mushroom. But if we wanted more grass, we now have access to plenty, right? We have a little little grass farm happening up here. Should probably spread out uh, the blocks a bit better. So I have like this go between those, for example. And then a couple of these go over there also. There, there we go, perfect. Um, and now let's do the jump across. Ouchie, that's fine. Bring in my lead and try and get more mushrooms in that area. It seems as though torches do allow mushrooms to spawn at night, by the way. Very useful technique. So, um, yeah, my, okay, my, mush my mushroom has stayed in there. It was only the one time that they despawned anyway. And that's very strange. Very, very, very strange. Um, Flat World was unwhelmed with pure action and uh, didn't survive. You know, Flat World... I, I, I would like to do more flat world, but I realized recently there might be an issue, is what I can maybe say right now. Um, so now what we also have to do is we have to make a way... So I think we'll use moss blocks to surround our farm, and we'll, we'll make the farm in here maybe too. Just like, make it extra inaccessible. Um, so we'll place andesite, or polished andesite, around like so. Okay. Okay. And then we'll have like a door or something that really doesn't allow entry. Um, yeah, we have to use a door, I guess, for now. Which will go right here. Okay, and now we're going to remove all of this. And put dirt here instead. With maybe like a water bucket going over under here. Okay, so now dirt for all of this. And now we can start growing some wheat. Or whatever else we need to. We would also grow on the other side, but we don't want mycelium to take it over. And um, I'm going to have to make a hoe. I'll make a stone hoe. I won't make a stone hoe because I don't have any stones. We'll make a an iron hoe. Yeah, we'll make an iron hoe. It's expensive. But sometimes you've got to invest in these things. And then we'll start planting some seeds. So we have a, we have a way to make wheat to breed cows together. Um, always an important thing. We can then use this for other stuff if we need to. But for now, does the job, right? Does the job wonderfully. And then we can go to Never. It'll be great. I forgot you can get cherry saplings from a wandering trader on Bedrock now. Uh, or can you, uh, ask Dasha? Uh, no, the, it was in the update that they postponed. Again, like, of all the updates to delay, they picked one which had a really cool feature. Um, which is interesting. I, I would love to know the reason why. Um, also a second lightning strike will turn brown mushrooms back to red. <laughs> Let's make a bunch of brown mushrooms by bringing them together. And then breed them back to red because we get bored of it. That sounds like an idea to me. Uh, still no cherry. Yeah, I, I, I wish they didn't. I wish they didn't delay it. That's my hot, crazy take. 
uh, is maybe they shouldn't have even. Maybe even I'd go that far as to say that. But yeah, I, um, I'm very sick of the darkness in the overworld. You know how people like to go somewhere where the weather's better? Like, I'm moving to Mexico. I'm going to Spain. Alicante. Um, I'm going to do the same right here. Actually, wait. Let's plant our sugarcane first. We got some more sugarcane right now. Let's let's get that sugarcane rolling just so it's like there. It exists. Um, we don't need to keep our sugarcane. Actually, wait. Will sugarcane grow on mycelium? It does, does right? Uh, I think we just saw some growing there, but just confirm. Sugarcane grows on mycelium. It does. Weird. Um, that's a fun way. I should do a uh, do a do a, uh, a sugarcane farm, but it's on mycelium. Then try and convince people it grows faster there. Get sand. Um, I think anything that can grow on dirt can grow on mycelium. You know, um, that, I, I bet I can come up with some exceptions to that. Um, but yeah, I bet it's a good rule of thumb. The land of the brave and home of the brave don't pay damn. Let's get that sky height farm started. Okay, sky height farm, part one, let's go. So I kind of want to lean into the mushrooms to make these, right? So... The best way to lean into a mushroom to make a sugarcane farm, I guess we just do it underneath it, honestly. <laughs> we'll have the water come from here, and then we'll have it flow in each direction, and that can be the basic idea. It can be, a, it can be radially covered by the the mushroom on the top. Yeah, it's it's kind of inefficient, because you have like... we. Oh, look how green sugarcane is here, chat. Oh, dear God, it's so green. Maybe just because especially the contrast with the purple. But this is like extra, extra green, right? This is... Someone someone ordered their, their sugarcane all wrong, apparently. And now let's take the two waters we have. Or let's just... Yeah, we, we got to just go make an infinite source of water rather than like whatever we're doing right now. All vegetation is bright green like the grass blocks. Yeah, the mushroom biome just has such a nice shade to it. Didn't really appreciate I should have appreciated. Um, so we'll make a nice bridge across here. Just just a simple one. Um, we can probably cover this whole thing of moss later. But for now, to the ocean, get some water, make it wonderful. The green is why I love living in the mushroom biome. Yeah, it's funny because you'd expect it's one of the dullest biomes that it wouldn't have such bright green. But it's it's just as bright as the jungle. Maybe even brighter on bedrock. I, it used to be the same on console is my like feeling. But I bet it's brighter because of bedrock now. Also, look how cool that house looks. I really am liking my house idea here. Uh, I think this is wonderful. Glowstick sugarcane says hello. Glowstick sugarcane indeed. Okay, so water is going to go somewhere nice and basic. Um, is over here fine? We just, you know, we'll make the infinite source right now. Before we even know it, the this farm, my sugarcane farm, will have its water back. Before it even knows where it's gone. Okay, back, back quickly, quickly. See. No issue of the farm. The water's been there the whole time. Now I also have water we can take with us to go to the nether. Excited. So this is the one time in my life I've ever hoped for a soul sand valley because then I can make some uh, soul torches. And in this biome, we don't care about actual light. We can do really cool atmospheric lighting. And so soul torches and soul campfires and all the dumb soul stuff uh, is actually pretty cool here, in my opinion. So we'll take full advantage. Um... In goes the water bucket. Where are we putting it? I don't know. Over here. And then we'll do the whole stacky thing. Yeah, I, I never never quite know what I'm really doing when I do this. <laughs> I just kind of place the block and see where it goes, honestly. Yeah, that works. That works. Don't know how it works, but it works. Um, and so now where are we placing our portal? Down here, I think. Yeah, down here and here. And then up from the side of that. Okay. No, you Sometimes in Minecraft, you just got to accept you don't know. Oh, no, no. I, I have not... I should have not have accepted I did not know that. Um, so what I like to do in these cases is just, like, forcibly stop the thing from getting through. And see what this is. Yep, it's more lava indeed. If it wasn't more lava, we'd just have to say, oopsie, and go find another one. But we're fine. I even have two obsidian sitting around, so this if this gets too inconvenient, we have a backup plan. Um, so now we place one there, and now we're still missing... Yeah, I'm missing like a place 
I mean, I've got to get another another block in here somewhere. So we'll place water up there. And then we can place like a lava here. And then we can place a moss up here. So we can get a lava on top of that. And then, honestly, we can keep the obsidian for later at this point. But you know what? I'm getting rid of it. Inventory clear out. Here we go. Is that a portal? Yes, it is. Let's go to the nether. Chat, what do you think we'll find there? You think we'll find good things, bad things, terrible things? We'll find out. Ooh. Yeah, this is a... Uh, we'll make the portal look cooler, actually. We'll make it like oak. Uh, so first of all, we'll remove the risk of lava death. Second of all, we'll remove all of these blocks. And then I think we just... Uh, that's as cool as we're probably getting. Uh, is there anything else we could do that's fun? Some flowering azalea just to mark the place. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just have like a bunch of them in the area. Make it look a bit prettier, right? <laughs> but yeah, we could get bone mill from a soul sand valley too. Like it's it's everything we've ever wanted and a little bit more. Oh, we don't have... We have golden carrots. That's fine. That's food, technically speaking. I guarantee you'll find Neverax is very much craft. If I find a soul sand valley, you're going to seem so silly. What are we going to find? Do, 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 do. Um, I think the mushrooms can communicate through mycelium for hundreds of miles. Um, oh, I think we've, uh, also I think that's, uh, that's a Last of Us fact, not a real life fact. Um, oh, that was a very long delay, but we're in a never wastes. There are, in fact, there's mushrooms here. Wow, it's like they knew where I was coming from. And that is scary, so we're just going to hide behind the portal. Okay, please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. So we'll eat this now. And then I'll mine some never act. Oh, where did that come from? Okay, so that's my portal gone. Good thing we got a spare flint steel. Um, and we're just going to run across this place. Pick up some of this, because this just seems fun, right? I think, I think, honestly, the warp blocks are going to be a real nice addition to my overworld. Why? Why did it say that I looked at you? I'm pretty sure I did that one on actual purpose. Usually it's a dumb accident. But fine, though. We're doing great, chat. Everything is wonderful. There are no issues. Um, so that's that was great. I'm now going to take as much stem as I can. I think this is just a cool block to add to our overworld. Like, this is the most mushroomy feeling block, I think. And so we get a bunch of these stems. We'll have some cool things for the overworld. Um, we'll see if we can place these never sprouts down. Like, it wouldn't it be fun if we could place these down on our mycelium? We can make a really nice, like, mushroom themed base, right? I'm just saying, it's a good idea. Um, and then we'll also, such a calm never spawn, says Justin Delal. Yeah, there was, there was precisely no issues of that never spawn. So calm and wonderful and lovely. I sure hope I get more spawns like that in the future. Uh, we can make a wood axe, but I'm not in love with that. We'll, we'll, wait, we'll use the hoe we just got to get a bunch of these. Like a full stack, I would say. And then we can use them for something really weird. Like make some silly mushroom combinations. Um, surprised the Enderman isn't still out there trying to get you. Yeah, that was a very passive Enderman. He was like, I'm going to come get you. And then I was like, it was a mistake. And he's like, oh, my bad. Happens all the time, bro. Um, very relaxed situation. Very relaxed. Um... So, Kat, I wonder if you have uh, any tips on making transition from keyboard and mouse from controller. Um, honestly, it's one of those things where I think the best tip is to, like, try playing a few other games, mix it in there. Um, and uh, it's, 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 it's just slowly, like, it's one of those, like, exposure-based therapy things. It slowly builds, and then at some point, before you know it, you have it. Um, also, uh, there goes my plans for sleep. You know, I hope they're good plans, King Crafter Oda, but you know what's better than them? Come into a Toy Cat stream. Um, so, yeah, we are going to... Oh, no, not again, not again, not again. No, we... Okay, okay. We're going to get to our little tidy, hidey cave. Um, we're taking a lot of damage, but that's okay. Just chill right over here. And we need the enderpearls anyway, right? So, you know, let's get them anyway. Let's let's go get all the enderpearls. Yeah, this cave is cleverly doing something to make the enderman go away. I don't know what it is. But it works in my favor, so I'm not going to complain too much. Um, otherwise, if we want to get some food... Oh, there's a crimson forest over there. Ooh, that's fun. Let's get some... Or we can just make a bowl, actually. We've got all the all the food if we can make a bowl in the world. And I can make a bowl. 
I'll make a wooden axe too if I'm here. Just, just to have one. But yeah, let's make some warp planks into a bowl. And now we don't, we don't have to waste our golden apples or golden carrots, rather, on something. Throw three of those on the on the ground and make a mushroom stew. And then immediately make another mushroom stew. It is nice to have mushroom stew sometimes. You're very high above a lava lake. Be careful. Wait, is that a lava lake down there? Let me look at it precariously over the edge. Um, now, that is a useful thing to keep in, keep in mind. Thank you, Dasher. Um, I know you're even commented yourself to a cat, but I appreciate you do these weird challenges as live streams, so you know it's real. Yeah, it's it's just a shame that it has to be that way. But, um, yeah, I, I, I think, uh, like, I... I would prefer a world where you could trust almost anyone all the time, to be honest. But there is a profit incentive to life for quite a few things in life. And one of those things is video games that give an easy to access creative mode to literally everyone who plays them. Um, and I, I don't think it's like something to be mad about. Or it's just like, okay, yeah, keep in mind um, that that is a thing that happens. So I think we'll make a nice little nether portal base area. No, I, I, we'll make it out of brown mushrooms or something. Like have the two two biomes flip into each other. For now, um, let's go to the Crimson Forest, if we can, at least. I don't know what the easiest way there is. I guess we'll mine through the ground. Um, and then we'll try and get some uh, red red stuff and bring that back as well. It'd be real nice. Endermen have a great temperament. Yeah, Endermen are just so friendly all the time. <laughs> so look at this tree. After I've sheared it, oh, it looks kind of funny. Um, but yeah, they're just so nice, so kind all the time. No problems. Never, never will have uh, issues of you. Rubido is such a cool soundtrack, says MC Joshua. Yeah, the Nether has some great music. Um, has some okay music too. But mixed in there is the great stuff. So we'll just tunnel through this. We know that there's a Crimson Forest on the other side. So we'll just tunnel through to it. That is not kind of, not really what I was thinking, but sure. Okay, so... Same problem, but at least here we can just make a twisting vine and we'll be good. And then later we can work our way back through. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be 100% fine, chat. We were not 100% fine. <laughs> um, there's a better way to do that. Yeah, from here you can see the clear better way to do it is up here. So we'll, we'll signpost this for ourselves using... I think I'll bring some red blocks with me from the biome I'm about to go through. Never walk blocks, maybe. And we'll do something fun with that, I think. Um, yeah, nice and simple. We come up over here. It's a little bit out of the way. But if I place some obvious weird blocks, um, gravel pile maybe. Yeah, we'll have a we'll have a big gravel pile on top of this tree. So one, two. Um, just just right here. If we make it very obvious of gravel for now, later I can. Oh, it would, up here would have worked just fine too. That's that's annoying to discover at this point. <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, let's go into the biome. Let's tear down some of these woods and let's bring those back too. So yeah, the later goal is obviously to find a... Um, I do still need to find myself a, um, a... a fortress, do all the important never stuff. But I think for now, just bringing back some fun blocks. You know, making the... making the overworld a bit more fun. That's a perfectly admirable goal. Um, so yeah, we'll find a fortress, make a path to it, and then come back with a bit more heat, I think. Um, is, is it the right word? A bit more, a bit more gear. Feels wrong too. Yeah, I'll come back to it with more stuff. Simple as that. Um, I could come back with some hoglins too, I bet. Also, why do hoglins and piglins never actually fight? Has anyone else noticed that? Like, there's two whole distinct separate mobs. They supposedly hate each other, but you never, you never see them actually go, go to, to you know, fight over it. Um... But yeah, we'll grab as much never warp as we can. You know, wait, actually, you can craft, you can turn never warp blocks into, no, you can't. What a weird thing you can't do. Is that deliberately so you still have to go to the never fortress if you want to make potions? Um, I was so worried though, I was like, oh no, did I miss something in my, my, my ultimate guide today? Uh, but we're good, we're good. Yeah, they do, but barely ever. Uh, they will work together to kill you, though. Yeah, way more often, you'll see a group of piglins and a group of hoglins both actively being like, screw this guy. And it's like, but you guys hate each other. Why are you working together on your anti-toy cat project? Come on, let me through here. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense to me. So we could bring one of these to the overworld with us, but I don't know 
how well that would go. To be to be perfectly honest with you. Um. Yeah, I think. Okay. Ouch. I feel like it felt felt like he got hurt from that. Did he just emotionally feel my pain or? Oh no! No! Wow! Oh, no! 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 What? Oh, okay. Okay. So, so, oh! I was just trying to climb the tree. That's all I was trying to do. Oh man! All the way away from. That's fine. Frustrating. That was such an unnecessary death. The moment it started happening, I was like, I'm fine. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do my thing. It's so ridiculously unnecessary. Ah, oh, so rough. <laughs> Um, yeah, I I was just thinking like, yeah, I'll just climb the tree and I'll deal with them from the surface. I'm not, yeah, not gonna worry about them. Hoglins are terrifying, but not really. And everything was fine, but just you get you get knocked around a few more times than you want, and it's over for you. Um, yeah, I it was it's such a simple such a simple death. I of that that death makes me mad at myself because of how ridiculously avoidable it was. And I was like. I just, I, I wanted to believe, like, you know, it wouldn't be an issue. It's not, it's not gonna be an issue. It's gonna be fine. And I believed incorrectly. So, um, my overall coordinates are something like 1500, maybe, right? Um, I think the, I think it's to the right side of the island. Um, so yeah, we gotta go this way a bunch. Like, a real bunch. Um,. So yeah, we'll just we'll see we'll, we'll see where the never takes or where the plan takes us. You can't get to your stuff because you don't have gold armor to spare you the piggies. Yeah, the um. Also, this is a hundred percent mushroom island. Uh, why are there ocean biomes? I think that was just a miscommunication with uh Harrison when I was telling him what I was doing today. Um, it's not actually a hundred percent mushroom island, but it's a catchy. Apparently, it's a catchy enough title. Um, after the stream is done, it'll be different. It'll be changed and fixed. It'll be great. I oh, owe. It's time to spend another 30 minutes to find the base again. I think we'll be fine this time, uh, Justin Delisle. Thankfully, um, yeah. What a what a rough rough death. Uh, have to say, you should leave a chest with a boat uh, sat at the world spawn. Says Ethan. Honestly, not a bad idea. Or we should just make a never portal that goes back there somewhere. It's about zero zero, right? My spawn. So we just make a portal through the never at those points. Then we'll be able to just go back anytime we want to. We didn't place my Salim around there and make it like honorarily part of the mushroom biome. Okay, so uh, is it big biome? It is a very big biome. Also, I've been uh, I've been needing to go stop streaming and go take a break for a little bit. Like, uh, what's the polite word for this? I've been needing to go and go to the room in my house of the tiles for a little bit. Um, but I have been politely not. Um, one flipping tree wouldn't hurt in these worlds, says Zane Alley. You know, I I don't have one flipping tree. I have several flipping trees. Um, no breaks. Stop being human. Yeah, exactly right. You gotta you gotta not do it. Also, good to see you, shy guy. It's going pretty well, man. Um, I've had a uh, today was like, it's weird. There's a video that was gonna take about two hours of raw recording time, and I'm like, so you can do it in two hours, maybe like two and a half or three. But like actually getting it done was like a six hour procedure or something. So I had like a real big day of redorting today. Also, do your mysterious thing, we'll wait. Yeah, you know, the good news is we know nothing will attack me while I'm gone. Um good thing this isn't the hardcore mushroom island. It's a good thing indeed, isn't it? Um uh, but yeah, we'll we'll get ourselves out of this. Just gotta go for a long walk in the right direction. Yeah, we'll get we'll get back to our base at the very least. Um, take shears to azalea leaves and compost them to bone mill to grow more trees. I've got the um, azalea roots. I've got some never warp blocks. I've got a few things that can do a good job, I think. Um, also, so Kat, do you have any tips on building? Thanks. The tip for building is always build more than you think you don't not want to. Yeah, that's that's the tip. Doesn't make any sense, but you can do it anyway. Oh, yeah, I think I should have probably landed on the, on the shore first. Moved on that way. Um, but yeah, I, um, do you know that piglins will dance after thinking of Ford of uh, Hoglins? I do know that, actually. It's one of the coolest Minecraft, like, Easter eggy features. It's a shame, because that's the sort of thing... Like, if, if, if Minecraft was slightly less popular, there'd be things like that that weren't found as quickly. Like, it's one of the blessings and the curses that there's such a huge community 
that nothing goes unfound. Um, it's interesting. Also, so yeah, we're going to about 700 blocks this way, where we'll find our portal, and our, um, we'll find our portal, we'll find our everything else. Um, also, I missed a lot lately. New work schedule makes me miss Toy Cats. That's Chris Smith. Good to see you, Chris Smith. I, um, I think it's interesting how, like, sometimes life goes through phases like that, right? Where you're like, oh, I just haven't had as much time to catch up on, you know, like, uh, the, the YouTube stuff. But whenever you get back into it, I feel like it's all, uh, it's nice when it's there for you. Uh, it's, it's, and, and, and if in, in the case of a, a thing that's going well, it'll be there for you, right? And that's, sometimes it's scary because it's like, oh, they stop, they stop making things the moment after I, I last watched something. But sometimes it'll just be that like, oh yeah, I, I'm not been there, but it's been there without me. And there's kind of, there's something kind of nice about that. Um, probably, probably, probably harms the parasocial ego to be like, oh, he didn't just need my parasocial attention. He needed other people's as well. But, um, yeah, we're gonna, I think the, uh, the, tr the truth is, is that basically everything on the internet exists, um, when, when you're not looking as well. Because there's no, like, time for the internet. You know, the real world has this, like, real strict 9 to 5 schedule. It's, it's kind of annoying, honestly. Like, the, the, the whole world is like, yes, these are work hours. These are not work hours. If you want to go into the bank, you better go between those hours. Because we're not going to hire people to work outside of the hours. Yeah, but, you know, like, uh, the real, the, the internet works in this, like, timeless space. Where, like, just at random points during the day, maybe uploads happen. Also, can you see our house yet? I think we're almost there. Uh, oh, yeah, we, there we go. We can see it in the distance. You get something to look at. So here's the fun thing, chat. Do you think I will die while I, if I just leave myself here? I think that phantoms won't spawn in the mushroom biome. But what do you reckon? So I'm going to hide under this mushroom just in case. Uh, actually, we'll hide under a better mushroom. We'll find one a little bit closer. Um, and you can watch sugar cane grow. Like, I'm, I'm giving you a treat, chat. While I'm gone, you may watch Sugar Cane Grow. It is my, it is my gift to you. Um, I know it's a very big gift. Uh, a little bit early in our relationship for such acts of uh, exuberance, but you may watch it while I put you there. Certified JR Stream. Here's some money, stay safe out there.
Hello. Kevin, chair tax. <laughs> the most popular moments in my stream when I when I leave. Is this is this a is this a learning point for me? <laughs> Man, I just I didn't realize the secret till just now. It's the 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 trick of YouTubers, you gotta not show up. Also, chair tax again, Hannah Small. Also, Shy Girl says, here's some money, stay safe out there. And David Solomano says, chair stream. Wow, that is that is crazy. That is very crazy. There, you, we have concluded. Sorry, chat, we've worked it out. Um, the chair streams will be happening a lot more from now. No, I like it. It's a, um, I think, uh, just as a, to be more serious here, I think uh, one of the things that is, like, a best... It's the, it's a really cool thing when it happens, is when uh, the parasocial relationship encourages both parties to act helpfully, right? Like, right? like I, I'm always saying, like, yeah, it's important to uh, I, do, do your best at the very least to, um, I, I think it's incredibly important to have realistic, like, understandings of how a relationship works. Even though it's in my interest to say, no, just believe I'm your best friend. And in the same way, like, you know, like, as a, you could expect your content creator to be like, yeah, Work as hard as you can, all the time, every time. Um, but instead, just being like, yeah, actually, take a break. If you've got extreme gastric distress, Toy Cat, just just leave the stream for a bit. I think um, I think it's like surprising, but the relationships where you encourage each other to be healthy and like improve are usually the better ones. I know, crazy take, right? Absolutely insane take, but I think it's true. The only mobs that spawn the surface of the Mushroom Island are phantoms and skeleton horsemen. We haven't seen either of those yet, though. To be fair, it's only day... No, it'll be day, like, six or something. Okay, this is, um... I've got a, I've got a video I want to make of just answering some of the dumb questions that you would have about Minecraft that you know aren't easy to answer. Um, or that aren't easily answered anywhere. I think it'd be fun to just go through them. Also, we, we have the balls from last time. This is why you throw your balls on the ground, chat. This is the exact reason. No other reason needed. Um, so we'll make this into planks just so I can get places. Uh, place a block there. Break a block here. The usual stuff. Uh, place one over there. Did I make that last time without doing that? And so now that we have three bowls, we can easily... I'll, I'll leave the other two over here or something. But with three bowls, now I can make as much stew as I like, which is wonderful. So, um, yeah, getting my stuff back is a little bit of a trickier question, but it's fine. There's uh, so much mushroom for a fungi in this seed. Yeah, it's funny that the the never is very uh, mushroomy, in my opinion. It's a very funny little little detail for this. But now we've got all of our stuff. While we're relatively fine, we put on the armor. We're gonna just clear up some space, honestly. So throw this on the ground, pick it up later, right? Uh, we don't want it right now. We don't need it right now. So now we organize our inventory. So far left slot, always a sword, right? Or maybe, yeah, far left slot, sword. Next slot, pickaxe. Next slot, shovel. Next slot, hoe. Actually, we'll do it that way around. Um, then we want to replace this with some block we can use to build. We'll say Neverack for now. And then this will go with the block we're currently connecting, crimson stem. And then that's the axe, because I forgot about the axe for now. So now we can pick up all of this stuff and that stuff. And then... We can go finally do what I was trying to do all that time ago, and we're wonderful. Um, chair makes money. Money makes money, money, money. Exactly. Also, thank you, Hannah Small, by the way. Got to really say the, the nice part of that. Yeah, indeed, it's, uh, I, I think encouraging a healthy relationship in people you care about. Encouraging things that you care about to be healthy is a good thing. Um, and the most important reason into why is, if nothing else, right, selfishly, if the things you care about last longer, then you'll be able to enjoy them for longer. If you if you destroy everything you care about, then you'll have fewer nice things. There's a lesson in that somewhere. I remember my um one of the like uh one of the moments that like really made me realize how like terrible of a child I was was like um I was playing around with some toy um that my uh I know some some toy that was for like young children that my aunt had and they were, she, was, she was like you can't do this. And I was like, but why not? And she's like, because you destroy everything you touch. And like, it was that moment where I was like, yeah, I destroy a lot of things. <laughs> a lot of things are broken because of me, huh? Um, it was like a, a weird realization. Um, so, something from it, you know, where you're like, wow, yeah, it turns out. Actually, there's a there's a pattern here. Oh, no, 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 no
There's a pan here I haven't been realizing. Um, oh gosh, this is going all wrong, chat. Okay. Um, and you know, if, again, if you like destroying things that I wanted to play with, meant that I had fewer things to play with. It was also rude on lots of other levels, right? Like destroying things you don't own, not nice. But um, I think this is like a societal problem that happens all the time. We're like, also, a lot of people assume like, man, why is there nothing fun to do here? And it's like, well, when there are fun things, people destroy them. There was a park near me when I grew up that would always be lit on fire. It was always having some arson incident. And like, as a child, I found that so hilarious. Like, who's burning down a public park? But at one point they just didn't, they just didn't rebuild it. They're like, okay, if you keep burning it down, like, we don't have an infinite amount of money. We're, we're going to build the... We're going to build parks for people who don't burn them down. And you can you can enjoy the ashes. And, like, obviously, like, it's even harsher on a collective level. Because, you know, on so, like, at some point, that's not like, oh, yeah, it's not they built a house for one family and that family burnt down the house. It's like, yeah, there was a house for a whole bunch of people. And then one of the people kept burning down the house. And so now no one gets a house. There was also, like, a... It's an interesting, uh, it's harsh, even if it was true. I think, I think though, like, that's the important thing is, like, sometimes one of the valuable things in life is you need both someone to, you know, this is, this is the very, like, very na natural dichotomy of basically every species, but especially humans, right? Is having, like, a counterbalance of two different parents. It's an important, uh, part of the process. Um broken window theory says uh, Cassie Knob. Yeah, I think the broken window theory is a really controversial one in, uh, where, where is it from? It's, it's it's by the New York mayor, the one who's like a billionaire, I think. Um, but um, it's really interesting to me because it is a self-fulfilling prophecy after a certain point, but also um, like it is true that if I went to a park that was always burning, I was like, well, I guess it's fine to burn down the park. <laughs> I I can't tell you enough stupid things that I wouldn't have done if I wasn't surrounded by other people doing the stupid things. And so, you know, it's it's a, it's, it's a silly idea. But if you're surrounded by things that are broken because someone's messed them up, wouldn't you at least like to have the fun of messing them up? Well, that's my crazy idea. Also, blast protection or projectile protection? I'm going to go projectile because I think it works on blazes. And it seems like a good thing to me. Please don't kill me, Gas. Please don't kill me. I don't deserve it. So I'm going to go this way because I want to make a... Oh, wow. That was such a delay on shooting that back huh? Um, Maybe we should grab the blast protection for now and then get the other ones for later. Um, Burning Man Park. I wish two barrels on top of each other would act as a double chest. Oh, uh, that's an idea. I mean, I could see the arguments both ways for that. But, yeah, I... I think... Um, I think Minecraft design now has so much higher standards than Minecraft design used to. It used to be like how something worked is how it worked. Emergent behaviors can come for it or not. Um, but maybe not. Was my mother became diametrically opposed to teenage pregnancy because her older sister had a baby at 17? Oh, Lord! That was a very unfortunate placement. We're going to be fine, but like only barely. Um, we're just going to sit down a little bit. Gonna make some mushroom stew, and we're just gonna cook it till we're back to health. It's gonna be all okay. We're gonna be fine. Um, yeah, I uh, the Burning Man Park is a very, very fun idea to me. But um, yeah, the it's the weird idea that I I think everyone has a moral system that excludes uh, collective punishment, and even to a on you think about it, on a lower level than collective punishment is like, um, what's the word for this? Like, stereotyping, right? If you say, because, like, I don't know, I, um, I, I have an Arabic builder, right? And he's screwing me so hard. He, he, he guilt-tripped me so hard to be like, oh, yeah, the job's, like, 95% done, so you can send the money now. And then I was like, no. And then he was like, um, and then, like, a bit later, he does a bit more work, and he's like, man, I got people I need to pay. I desperately need the money. And I was like, you know, he's been trustworthy so far. And then, and then like, since then, he's just ignored me. It's like, <laughs> I got the money. I'm not coming back. Um, so I had a situation where someone screwed me, right? And, you know, I I, I, th I think if, you know, it, from that, you know, reception, there, uh, it, it would be very offensive to say, like, oh, yeah, well, they're all real bad, them people from 
you know, um, from Syria, I think it is, funnily enough. But like, you know, from, from wherever it is, like, oh yeah, don't trust me, that whole group of people. And that would be ridiculous, right? But it could be that, like, next time I'm, uh, subconsciously next time, whether I know it or not, when I go to, like, you know, like, get someone to do something basic around the house, I'm gonna be like, man, this guy, this guy who just, like, messed me around, left me, broke my, broke my doorbell, uh, and then, like, you know, started, uh, like, uh, you know, like having complete starting complaining to me about it. Um, this 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 guy, I'm gonna have another one of those situations going on. And I think um, I think whether you know it or not, like there's a weird thing where you, you like obviously like on a micro level this happens. Not for I, I think the race thing's a really powerful one, but it's true that a lot of people are making these decisions that you can't say, but I bet some people are doing it subconsciously. Like oh god, no, not that, not this. Gotta watch out. Um, like I think uh, there's a lot of um, I have a lot of. Uh, you know, I, I used to, I've had several black friends mention to me like, "Oh yeah, we when when you go to a white person's party, it's kind of like this," and so you just gotta know what you're getting yourself into. Like, it's not a real party. Um, and you know, like, uh, that, is that a fine uh, example? Being like, "Yeah, get invited to a white person's party, it better be real good." Um, and it's funny. <laughs> I saw a thing today. Apparently, um, apparently it's a white person thing to have crisps at a party as opposed to like cooking food for, for people. Is that true? Also, don't be like that toy cat. It's not like he's French. Um, if there's uh, there's your calling, you need to teach yourself handyman works and get ripped off by contractors. <laughs> also, I was trying to go over here to make a uh, nether portal or at least find a uh, nether fortress, but I, I'm not getting lucky on that, I don't think. So I think we'll come back when we got a diamond pickaxe. We'll mine this portal or maybe make a portal here actually. It's a nice place. Um, but I, yeah, I'm not seeing any... Oh! That was unfortunate. Okay, we're gonna dodge real bad. We're gonna get out here and see if we can see any sign of a structure over here, maybe? Uh, it would be important to me. Um, and black, this is making me question my identity. It could be, it's obviously like, uh... This is the thing, this is the nuance everyone misses from race debate. Some people... Like, again, I think it's actually, like, popular to be like, oh, yeah, we'll actually judge people by their skin tone. Like, you just got to try and do it in positive ways if they're non-white. It, it's a really weird phenomenon to me. Like, uh, like 20 years ago, we tried to do the whole, like, what if we treated people equally regardless of race? Now we're trying. What if we try to reverse treat people based on how we've historically treated them as races and then we balance out the total... You know, there's, like, a weird difference there. But um, I, think there's a, I think the real nuance everyone misses when we talk about black, white, whatever is it matters way more where you're from when you're white or when you're... Like, French people count as white. That's the that's the real truth of it, right? There are French people out there right now who are like, yes, bonjour, oui, oui, baguette, I am a white. <laughs> and, you know, at the same time, like, uh, I don't know, black British to black American. Like, at some point, 250 years ago, you would have come from the same continent. Uh, the only reason black in America even works as a descriptor is because... They went there without their uh, culture. There's, there's probably some reason why they didn't bring their culture with them to the, the US and got mixed up. I'm sure someone would love to tell me that. But the idea of being like, this is one set of people with one set of rules is so f funny to me. Um, you know, imagine it's the equivalent of being like, oh yeah, all villages are the same. Um, <laughs> at least post the update. All villages are the same, regardless of biome. These guys just trade different stuff by pure coincidence, unrelated. It's like, well, maybe, maybe these guys, you know, if you ever look at a village, a village in a plains biome has a bunch of wheat, and a village from a snow biome has not very much wheat, and in fact, their crops have frozen over because they're in different climates. They live quite differently, and, uh, you know, I don't know. You take that back, French people aren't like us. You're not French people, you're right, but, um... Politics a lot. Favorite color time. Yeah, what's your favorite color of person, chat? What's, uh, give me a... <laughs> Let's go spicy on this, uh, on this cover-up today. Um, no, I think, uh... I think there's a really, uh, big miss of it. Also, we're gonna try and pick up as many twisting vines as we can. I don't think we need them, but it'll be a nice little addition, I think. Um, blue person. Oh, I love blue people. Absolute top-tier people. Uh, I love the way they cook the food, too. Um, but yeah, I saw I saw someone like a. I it's one of those interesting things where we're so desperate to have big terms that make it feel like everyone's like us. But even within I know like 
black people from Nigeria in particular who have moved to London in particular, it's like, well, this one's into anime, and this one likes to watch football, and this one only watches cooking content on the internet. Or like, whatever the case may be, right? There's always fractions, fractures. Um, that's, that's my take, at least. So, I think we need to get some ender pearls right now. I think this is... Like, there's not much I can do with the seed besides get all the ender pearls in the world, to be fair to it. Uh, oh, there's a nice bridge over there I could make. Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's bridge across. It's going to be scary, but it's going to be fine. And now we can get over here. Um, I'm just trying to find a nether fortress, by the way, and then we can make a nice path to it. It'll be wonderful. But right now, I see no sign of anything. Well, I do see signs of lots of things that aren't never fortresses, but no sign of anything useful. If I die in the lava, it'll be rough, but I'm not going to die in the lava, chat. Uh, what do we see over here? Okay, I like people with uh, vitiligo. I always join the streams on the most out-of-context conversation. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. I do it specifically for you. Um, okay, so oh, this, this is going to lead me somewhere. Don't know where the fortress will be. But I know I'll find it. Maybe stock up on mushrooms for stew. I have 21 red and 42 brown. How many do you think I need, Talek Vauskas? That's my question. I will grab a few more red. Clearly the balance is a bit off. But uh, we'll be fine. I do like I, I do love a good never expiration, to be honest. Um, I do love a good little, little visit through there. We'll make our path back through some of the blue wall. Dust, maybe. Might be a fun idea. Oh. Rough. Um, but yeah, I want to make a real nice tunnel over to my Never Fortress. Usually I... Okay. Usually when we do this stuff, we do it so so fast and zoomy. This is going to be a nice beat Minecraft. Nice and slow sort of thing. Um, didn't know you had that much. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I have a little bit more than most people probably expect. Okay, so Never Fortress. This would be a good place to find one. It's such a shame that the render distance in the Never sucks. I bet there, there could be one over there. I would have no idea. And without a real way to access it, we're going to bounce out there. Uh, chunk base is no fun, says Mr. Mar. Yeah, I think... Um, so this is me telling a tale and a trail, right? But the, the whole point of um, Minecraft to me is like finding your way somewhere and then later like covering up those tracks. There are some things that are so rare that, like, I don't feel bad if people... Like, I wouldn't say... I wouldn't feel any amount of, like, shame for using Chunk Base. Or, like, it, I wouldn't use it myself, but I, I wouldn't, like, try to shame people for it. But for something like this, where, like... You know you'll find a Never Fortress eventually. Let's find it organically. And then it'll be cool to, like, turn that path into something more serious. Um, whereas you make the path before you've even done... I, I know, like, there's... There's a lot of tails. Come on, my dude. You're going down. Um, yeah, that's that's my hot take. Speaking of hot takes, I think if we don't find something soon, we are going to have to use the sign pickaxe to go mine some diamonds. Um, yeah, this... I don't think we're finding a fortress too soon here. It's it's such a good biome to explore. Like, it's nice and, it's nice and flat. But if it's not leading me to a fortress, then it doesn't matter what else. Um... Also, uh, do you like any other games? Says Bethaniel Diamonds. I, uh, I really liked Tears of the Kingdom earlier this year. I think today I decided, um, I think we need to play some Starfield chat. I, I really, also, wow, we found a Bastion before we found a Fortress. So that's bad news for trying to find a Fortress nearby. Usually you don't find the two of them in the same place. But not impossible. Not impossible. So we'll just look up very briefly. Is there anything over here? No. Anything over there? I'm going to guess also no. Yeah, let's go back that way. Just to see where it takes us, right? Worst case, we get a bunch of gold. Yeah, this this bastion is worthy of a portal in its own right. That's for sure. Uh, remember to get those updates done. I'm confused by what you mean by updates. Like, if the game isn't out, why do I need to get updates for it? Is it like a... Uh, you can pre-download it, but they're updating the pre-download all the time. If so, it might make more sense not to download it until you've got the, the thing going. Um, okay, so what biome is the fortress in? 
we have no idea, uh, Natalie Dezazo. Hey, Natalie, uh, you, you were one of the, uh, well, actually, you know, you were, you are the person with the wrong coordinates, earlier for what we were asking for. But, you know, I'll forgive you. And I'll say, um, congrats on the membership. I, I didn't know it was, you were one of the ones that got gifted. Congratulations. Yeah, this is a nightmare. Trying to, try and imagining getting over that. I don't think I'm going to do it. So, uh, yeah, we found a bastion already, chat. Um, at 600, 275. That's a nice, nice place. Uh, and now we're going to go home. We'll, we'll quickly peek over there just in case. Yeah, there's no fortress there. We'll go home. Um, no, I was right there. There were three out. We just had no trees, sadly. What do you mean? I'm so confused. Also, prefers the stream time. Heck yeah. Yeah, when Fallout 4 came out, I remember my most viewed stream forever. It took, it took years for the record to be beaten was when Fallout 4 came out. I started streaming at midnight and just played until, like, my eyes couldn't stay awake any longer. And a lot of people really liked that stream. The worst bit is, is the stream was real popular, and then the the Fallout music gets claimed by a bunch of, like, fake companies who just pretend they made it. And so, um, yeah, so that whole stream doesn't exist anymore. Because they claimed it so hard, I was like, you clearly don't own this. I fought the... I, I, I just out of spite, like, if they want to take 100% of the revenue on the video, what if there's no revenue on the video now? Sorry, I'm, I'm too bitter that way. Um, okay. Let's dive to the left. Dive to the right. Okay. <laughs> Gotta just not get hit by fire. That's the only clear goal we have. So, um, yeah, I remember, I remember my portal was somewhere around... Oh, uh, Dash has got it. 210, 20. Wow, so far away, yeah. I might get lucky and find some fortress on the way. Would be real nice if so. But I'm not expecting it. It would just be nice. It would just be nice. This is a this is a really nice never. I I do have to say, it's a treat going into the never and it not feeling like a slog. This one certainly doesn't feel like it. Big, big, big fan. Um so we're gonna cut to the left. And then we're gonna Oh, we've gone past it now, so we have to cut back left around this or something. We'll see what we can do. Oh yeah, I think. I think I was meant to be down by now, but we can go up and over. Yep, we can. <laughs> oh, it's scary, chat. It's real scary, but we're gonna have to do it anyway. Um, we could look for another fortress over here while we're here anyway, right? We're going home. We are seeing what it is, but just while we're here, we could give it a peek. It might be something new, and then we'll head back towards 210. Sneaky Minecraft, full health. Full health means nothing in the Never. Has to be said, right? Absolutely nothing. You you get knocked by something once, then the second thing lights you on fire, then you're dead anyway. You you fall into a lava lake, you're dead and your stuff is gone. You get hit by the wrong batch of hoglins altogether. Yeah yeah, the one the one second delay is not good enough. You're over. Um, there's a lot of ways we can die. You should make a shield. Now you should make a shield. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, you didn't you didn't consider that. Have you got a shield right now? Bet you don't. Do you have a shield watching this live stream? What if a hoglin was to attack you? Or a piglin shot an arrow at you while you're watching the stream? You'd get impaled right through the heart. You'd feel so silly and you'd be like, Oh, maybe instead of telling Toy Cat to craft a shield, I should have been crafting one myself this whole time. It's what you'll say on your deathbed. And so just avoid the embarrassment. Okay, so we put that through there. And now we can close off. Oh, we've already done it. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, Never Fortress is evasive. But, you know, sometimes you explore for a bit. You don't find something amazing, but right away, you find it later, right? Shields are the one thing I've refused to ever make. Yeah, I don't... I still don't think shields are, like, great. 10 out of 10 would use all the time. Shields are, like, a necessary evil for the Never Fortress, I think, where you get, like, rammed in by three or four mobs. Uh, it's a good way to, like, keep them at bay. So, uh, sometimes fire resistance doesn't save your items. Pulling 23 blocks onto a shore in the nether. I think fire resistance stops you taking full damage from from lava. I could be wrong about that. Okay, we can't go this way any longer, meaning we're going back. A little bit frustrating. But the nether is what the nether is. Um, ooh, spooky. Uh, at least this, this offers a nice way down. So from this way down, we can follow it down to this way down, which we can follow down even more. Just mine into that, and mine a couple blocks here. Ouch. 
And then we can go down around it. Ouch. Also, Fusion Warrior, new idea, Piglin, new idea, Puglin, new, oh, sorry, idea, new Piglin Barton Iter. Locator maps of fortresses and bastions. Low percent, might mix up the random seed glitchless. I think the problem with random seed glitchless is it's so barter, de de so barter dependent already. You would be making it more barter dependent. I do like the idea of never fortress maps, but right now they haven't even worked out never maps as a whole. Um, it's definitely one of the options they could do that would unlock the most from it. Like, never maps and... Well, even just... Even if never locator maps are the only types of never maps, then you'd be like, okay, I can use this myself now. Maybe that'd be making it too powerful. Who knows? Not not the boss of how this one works. But uh, it's, it's an interesting idea, right? Also, yeah, we're going to start using Crimson Planks. It's fine. They'll get me around the never. Um, wait, let's take this game logic into real life. If you're about to die at old age, die, then respawn at the same age. Are you in an endless loop of dying? A fate worse than death? Um, I mean, the catch is you don't die from old age, right? You die from something at old age. But hypothetically, if you were to... If you if, if you die and there's something at your spawn that kills you, dying and then re-dying over and over again is a fate worse than death, yes. In my opinion. Although, I mean, you know, some would argue that, like, it's worth any amount of suffering... If it means you get that. Um, but yeah, I, uh, so I can't, can you speed bridge? So speed bridging on console, or speed bridging on Bedrock, rather, is a very different game to speed bridging on Java. Because um, you can, uh, what you can do here is you can, like, speed bridge up and at the same time go forwards, right? You can do, like, like, yeah, th there's a very different technique to it. Which, actually, I think I need to do right now, so. Do I want to go up there? I do want to, I'll just go forwards across this. Make a nice big bridge. I mean, the good thing is my never is going to be more explorable because of all these little little pieces of infrastructure I'm laying down to connect places that are tricky to connect otherwise. Um, just don't press the respawn button to break the loop. Would, wouldn't that be heartbreaking, though? You're, you're trapped in a loop and you're like, I'm just going to die. Like, you know, you, you want to have more options than die or don't hit respawn. But you just wouldn't have them. Um, the Totem of Dying idea from one of the old bad Minecraft videos would be just as good. <laughs> the Totem of Dying is such a high quality idea, Mojang. You gotta get on it. I know you I know you're watching as a I know you're a you're a legal entity and not a person, Mojang. But please please add the totem of dying. It's just too funny not to. Um so yeah, the portal is a Z20. Z20. Um So it's also way higher up, by the way. So we're going to try and kind of climb upwards into it. Or we could mine some blackstone. Should we mine some blackstone? It's a bit annoying to have to go all the way down there for it. But if we mine some blackstone, we can make a stone pickaxe and just kind of tunnel through this whole thing. Or we could wait till the last minute where we realize it's already too late. And then just start mining with our fist for another 100 blocks or so. You know, that sounds like an idea to me. Okay, we're almost there. We just got to... Gotta get 100 blocks this way. We're at 86. We're at 210. Is this cave gonna do it for me? Not quite. Maybe up here. Yeah, yeah. This is this is gonna be perfect. Okay, we run through this, and then just to the left here, 210. Okay. So now we're just gonna mine forwards until the pickaxe breaks, and then we just have to mine about 60 blocks with our fist. This seems like a crazy idea. But I think in the end... Oh, do we have a pickaxe on us, actually? No. I think in the long run, this works out as sane and logical, chat. Okay, let's go. Sorry, I've had my own song stuck in my head all week. I need to make another one. So, chat. I, um... I want to know what you think while we're all here together. I, uh... Do you think that, um... Do you think the evidence we have right now for the, the whole desert update is really enough for it to be like, oh yeah, it's definitely they're updating warm biomes? Because I'm like a skeptic by nature, but everyone everyone who watched the video is like, oh wow, these things definitely seem real. And it's like, but I, I was saying like, yeah, it looks like this one's like 80%, this one's like, yeah, 50-50 maybe. The hot update. Man, this update sure does sound hot. Um, so yeah, we're just going to break through. No, it definitely makes sense to go get some blackstone. It's an insane idea not to. No idea what I'm thinking. 
genuinely no idea. <laughs> so, um... Or I could just make a wooden one, right? Yeah, we'll make a wooden pickaxe for now, because we can at least smelt that into something. We'll see what's over here. Actually, wait, maybe... Oh, there's more crimson, and there's more warp this way. I bet, actually... No, we're gonna, we're gonna mine through this. We want the big tunnel. Big tunnel is a good tunnel. Um, cactus boulders for 1.21. No, because the desert update was third in line to get an update after Tiger. But it was after Tiger and Savannah, right? So, Savannah... By the way, you should vote for the Savannah. As I uh, end the words of some man. Um, okay, let's make... Also, Toycat tried to watch a live stream without video. It's fun without all the out of context moments. Yeah, I think a surprising number of people do that. For what it's worth, a surprising number of people watch the streams without the video. Um, I, I'm glad, first of all. But second of all, I do think it's a bit of a wild thing. Also, wild update part two. I There's no way it's wild update. I, I think no one... <laughs> it'd be th like, what an insane idea, right? Like, what if we took an update that it was one of the least well received and we took that as a part two? Like, it is way more likely to see like end update part two. You know, some, some other update which, which was popular upon its release and then has been maybe more popular since its release. Okay, let's go into the overworld again where things are safe. And let's place some um, warp blocks around our house. I would like to have a... Okay, so we'll place... I think we're going to make a lovely path between this and home. Um, yeah, so my house is over there. Almost exactly diagonal from here. So we'll make the path kind of curve naturally both ways. Um, you see what I mean? We'll go kind of left, and then we'll go kind of right. And then we'll break our shovel. And realize we should have used something else. <laughs> and then... Yep, that's good enough. Chat, do you like it? Does it look good? <laughs> um, and now let's go back to our home. Let's go in a very nice home, by the way. And let's... Uh, let's place some never wart in there. No, I think we'll... Yeah, we'll use never wart blocks. In place of mushroom blocks. And just kind of see how it looks. If it's terrible, we'll wait till we get silk touch. And we'll use properly uh, proper replacements for them. But I think this might not be terrible, chat. I think if we just... We take these blocks. And we use... We could even use the the, the crimson planks, right? No, the, the never warp blocks are much better pick. In my mind. Um, we'll just place a bunch of these around. See what it does for us. If it does nothing for us, that's fine. It's okay. Didn't, didn't, didn't need it to do everything. But we'll, uh, we'll do it two layers deep on this side. Um, you know, we can we can see which side's better and, like, make the other one look like that. But just like this, uh, with maybe a window in the middle, just some way through that. And then we would do the same down here, but we'll see how it looks first. Okay, chat. Is it ugly or is it beautiful? <laughs> you're not allowed to say, you're not allowed to say the first one. If that, just, if, if you want to know my, also look, we got so much grass here. Yeah, it's, um, it's, um, it's beautiful. It's great. It's never stunning, beautiful. Yeah, this is what I love to hear. All of these words are true. Oh, yeah, it just, it just, it just comes together so nicely. It's unique. <laughs> and then I think we'll do, uh, crimson planks for this wall, uh, over here. Yeah, we, we don't even need a wall necessarily, but we'll do, like, uh, yeah, we'll do something. I guess we could extend it a bit. Have like a second mushroom go next to it. Do something fun with that. But for now, yeah, it looks looks just fine. Uh, nothing like it. It's mighty. <laughs> so I need to get silk touch if I'm going to do a significant amount more than this. And obviously I can grow sugarcane, which is wonderful. So if I want silk touch, I've got to enchant. That means I need bookshelves. That means I, mean, means I need to go get myself some diamonds. So I should oh, have... I, have I lost all my iron already? Oh, no, I just need to smelt the iron, so... Good news, I've got a way to do that. We can smelt my bowl. Don't think that's a good idea, though. Um, and then we're going to place some never sprouts down. Uh, just to make the area a little bit more... You know, a little bit more... A little bit more lively, right? Just just place a few never sprouts here and there. I like it. Um, we can place some around here, too. Just... Yeah, we'll place some never never sprouts leading this way. Or warp roots or whatever. Wait, are there never sprouts as well as warp roots? 
Okay, if there are, I don't have them. A couple of warp fungus. Just, you know, nice little, little touches here and there. You still have the silk touch axe in the box. It has precisely one durability left, if I'm not mistaken. It just isn't a very good number. So, um, oh. yeah, we'll keep you making mushroom stew. Actually, wait, we don't need to make mushroom stew here. What a waste. I've got the infinite mushroom machine over here. Let's go. So, yeah, if you don't know about this already, uh, chat about mushrooms. Mushrooms. They're so handy. They produce infinite mushroom stew. One mushroom in your world, and now you never need to worry about eating again. It's it's powerful. If Especially for building types who, like, don't need to worry about, like, doing a huge amount of exploration. It's crazy powerful, in my opinion. And, um, so, yeah, let's get out of it. We've got a nice collection of mobs now. Uh, three mushrooms. Uh, and, uh, yeah, also, did the stream crash? Okay, it didn't. <laughs> it's interesting that it froze for so many people. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a weird one. So I wonder, I, it's, it's fun whenever it's YouTube's issue and not my fault. So it's like, yeah, yeah, usually me, not this time. Also, I can't believe I went all that way. I didn't find a soul sand valley or a thing, which means I don't have any bones. But that's, that's fine too. So now we have to cook up some planks, I guess. Uh, yeah, we use planks. I mean, the warped planks should probably should, should, should have been the first bet, but that's fine. Um, and yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to place a second mushroom over here, but this one will be a warped fungus. So we'll make it the same, like, vibe, but this one will be entirely warped, and then maybe red, red planks around it. So, yeah, we could kind of connect them with a long bridge and a tunnel or something like that. Yeah, I like that idea, this being in between. So we'll line it up perfectly. Uh, it would look more organic if we went diagonally this way, actually. Yeah, let's do that instead. We'll just have another one over here. Um, the long tunnel was a fun idea, but a diagonal tunnel makes more sense too. So it's going to be basically perfectly diagonal from this point though. So diagonal perfectly and then one block to the right will look more organic, I think. So that's diagonal. That's one block to the right. So thank God I brought enough of this to do what I'm aiming to do here. Is that high enough? No, that's high enough. And then, um, is this the right layer actually? No, I think we, we want to be one higher, damn. Okay, so, good news is I can solve this. We just gotta, yeah, place more blocks higher up. And then hope no one notices. So, um, the way this works is it's five long at different intervals. So like there, we just make a five by five square basically. Is this the middle still? I don't even know at this point. This this is the middle, right? Yeah, that's the middle. So this is the five by five square. Um, yeah, nice. And then we just place uh, little things coming out of that. No, this doesn't work how I was expecting. Uh, but it's close enough, right? It's close enough. That's basically the same thing. Um, shouldn't you be using slabs to smelt when you... Things when... Should you be using slabs to smelt things that you get more than planks, so you can't. You know, yeah, I, that, that is the least sense I've ever made in a comment, Jordan Noble. I've, I've never understood a comment less than that one. I, I really, I, was, I tried my best, but I just didn't succeed. I didn't need that. Oopsie. So getting in the house from the top is actually a bit of a struggle, huh? There's no easy way in. Um, at some point, we'll connect these with a lovely bridge made out of warped planks, uh, which we do have five of, so we can make like six slabs. And uh, generally head over there. It looks <laughs> looks nice, right, chat? <laughs> it looks great. It looks like Kiwi Lip Balm. I don't know what that is, but I agree. It looks so much like Kiwi Lip Balm. Um, and now we got enough to make a second uh, pickaxe. And this time, we're going to get diamonds with it. We we need diamonds now. So we can make a, an enchantment table. And so we can get some obsidian. So we can make a new portal. Also, yeah, it's just so handy having an infinite source of mushroom stew follow us around. Really is handy. Your house is outstanding. It's beautiful. I know. It's the best. No one's ever made a house as good as I make houses. Uh, let me tell you. People often say that I make the best Minecraft houses. And let me tell you how right they are. So I think I have a crafting table down here. I could do with a shovel too, to be honest. Um, oof. Probably should have done some inventory sorting while I was up there. But I didn't, and that's okay. Not everything needs to be perfect. 
Um, what does need to be perfect is my finding of diamonds. So yeah, just hopping into the cave, honestly. It'll probably lead me where I want to go. Okay, so yeah, nice and easy to get down. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so I think this, oh yeah, so large of a cave. I think somewhere in this cave there will be diamonds. Um, I, It's more efficient to strip mine. I think we've done the maths or like we've done the real practical science. If you have a decent pickaxe, when you have a low tier pickaxe and it takes you a long time to get iron, I think it's worth just exploring big caves that are low down. And so that's precisely what we'll be doing. Let's get our hands on these lovely, lovely Raymonds. Um, which is, of course, a valid, acceptable pronunciation for diamonds, as Dazed and Confused agrees. Um, you should make uh, room for mushing things. Yeah, you know, if you went in a mushroom house, you've got to mush some things. I mean, it, well, I'll have so much room in there, right? Uh, of course I'll be able to. Hey, diamonds! See, there we go. Flawless. Imagine if I went strip mining, how much longer it would have taken me. Also, ouch. So, I'll eat this, and then I'll hope it's more than one diamond. Chat, guess how many diamonds it is right now. Before we get there, how many diamonds am I going to find? I know we're all going to be depressed, but let's be depressed together when it's one. It's got to be one, right? Is it one? Oh, it's one. I mean, maybe... No, it's one. One diamond. What do you do with one diamond, chat? What do you do? I make. I can make a nice shovel. That's nice, I guess. Uh, is that another diamond over there? It might be. We'll go looking for it. So yeah, the uh, a big cave like this is usually good for finding a few little diamond veins. But I guess by making the diamond veins smaller, it's a counterbalance to all of this other stuff. Um, it's always a bit of a shame to to go for one diamond, frame it. You know, my first diamond does have to be framed at some point. We'll also mine some gold while we're here, because this I'm going to be trading with piglins. Just all sorts of things. Makes sense to go do this. Make a jukebox and smelt it. Now that is an idea, Code Blank. Make a jukebox so we can smelt. I'm glad someone is speaking sense today. Someone is doing it. I'm glad. I'm glad it is you. Um, but yeah, as far as actual... What we do here... Oh, is that a second diamond? Yeah, it is. Okay, chat, guess how many diamonds it's going to be. Make the guess in your head. And then conclude that you were right. Because it's one more diamond. That is now an enchantment table. If we can get the obsidian. Oh, I shouldn't have used all the obsidian. Because I could have used it for this. Oh, yeah. There was two in the ruin portal chest too, right? There was there was obsidian there as well. I would have had enough. Oh, okay. Valuable lesson. Valuable lesson we're learning today, chat. I'm, I'm glad we're learning it together. Um, yeah, I would have been able to make an enchantment table first, which would be, would, you know, would be good. Getting obsidian is nice, but I think an enchantment table has a little bit more value, especially if we're about to go take on a fortress or indeed a bastion, whichever one we go for first. Um, okay, so we'll go down. Oh, another diamond. Okay, that's diamond number three chat. And also that's a geode. So we'll dig a nice path down for this geode. Oh, it's two geodes. Ah, Nice. Big fan of that. So, yeah, we'll go for the diamond. Get the geodes sorted. Oh, it's more than one. Okay, so if we just, we need five total. Is it always one diamond or something? Is that like, is that a rule Minecraft has? Like, one, one diamond only sort of rule? Oh, five. Perfect. Okay, we can now make a pickaxe while still also, I don't want to use this though. I'll use this. I'll make myself a pickaxe while also making later a enchantment table. So I have a very rough inventory problem right now, but it's fine. Totally fine. Um, and now we can go into this thing. So I'm going to get some obsidian while I'm down here, maybe. No, do I need it? Yeah, I need it for the, for the enchantment table. So um, this is very, very cool. What a lovely find this is. Uh, I'll break through it on this side. I won't pick up the blocks, though. But the, the idea is really solid. We'll use the iron pickaxe because it seems to make almost no difference. And um, 
Yeah, we'll just mine through this, make it clear we can go do it. This this right here, 1580, 370. 1580, 370. Do we get what slain? I didn't. Oh, I, I didn't want to type slash. Uh, type it in the chat, and that way you know where you want to be digging. And as long as there's a straight line up from there to here, we can now easily fall down into our water bucket. Um, which we'll do after we've made some obsidian. Oh, look at the the water is uh, mushroom biome water, huh? Interesting stuff. Um, yeah, I um, come on, make jukeboxes. Okay, you know, what? I'm sorry. Five jukeboxes to this chat. Connect them both with an amethyst hallway. Yeah, it's a nice idea, huh? That's a nice idea. So we only need four obsidian, but we could go for enough to make a portal while we're here, right? But we'll be able to get more to make a portal if we... Like, we'll be able to enchant our pickaxe to make it easier to get more obsidian. So I'll do that. We also need to get some lapis before we go back up. Which is easy. So we'll remove the arrow because it's one arrow, right? Um, pick up four obsidian. And then go get some lapis. Where do we find the lapis? I don't know. I'm sure we will, though. Negative 370. Oh, yeah, I know it's negative 370. Like, I think, um... To be clear here, I think you... It's it's smart to get it correct, but I think... I'm not going to look at it and go, Whoa, have I got hundreds of blocks to go? I hope I won't look at it and say that, at least. Also, I think we'll, we'll go get the extra diamond, and then we'll craft a diamond shovel at the same time. That'd be nice. Be great to have a diamond shovel. So now we need lapis. Usually you find lapis before you find diamond. It used to be like 1.1 times as common. Obviously not anymore. Um, but yeah, we've got a bit of a problem getting out of here. So we'll scoop the water. Where is the water, actually? I had the water somewhere. Is it in the ground? Yeah, it's in the ground. I guess... Do I need the water to get out? It'll help... But leaving it there will help future me. So I'll help. I'll choose to help future me at the expense of current me. Um, so, yeah, lap is nice and easy. Get some, get out, call it a day. By the way, do you want to know something fun, chat? Tomorrow is the, um, I think it's the six-year anniversary of Tumble releasing. Um, might be seven years. I think, it, no, it's got to be seven years. Um, I'm going to do a fun special stream for it. There's so many anniversaries that happen where, like, if you miss one, you're like, oh, I know. But I think uh, the normal thing to do with this, like, I, do you ever have this in real life where you're like, oh, I forgot, like, a friend's birthday. And you feel, like, bad about yourself. Rather than feeling bad about yourself or having the police come around you and, like, beat you in the head, as I've suggested uh, previously. Um, real good idea, by the way. Also, do you see any lapis? Why is there no lapis? Um... What's tumble? You know what? See, that's that's how you know it's seven years old. But uh, it's the second Minecraft console mini game. Uh, so I just wanted to let you know that we'll be streaming it tomorrow. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I uh, I wonder how many people will be naturally playing the game. I guess I'm gonna like log in earlier in the day just to see. Because uh, I'm sure the seven. There's a weird thing that like, you, you know, anniversaries of events only mean as much as the people who care about them want them to mean. Um, I think that's a valuable thing to learn about your birthday. Like. It almost feels sometimes like your birthday is being forced on you. At least to me, that's how it felt when I was younger. Like, everyone's like, oh, look, it's your birthday. What are you going to do? And it's like, oh, no, man. I want to... It doesn't feel like a very fun time if you don't get to decide. Um, but, like, at some point, it, you, you come to the conclusion that, like, if you wanted to have your birthday not mean anything, don't ever tell anyone, and now your birthday means nothing. Like, it's... Uh, and the same thing is true for uh, every anniversary. Um... You get to decide what that anniversary means. Uh, in, in a relationship, right? You can have it be a rule that, like, yeah, we we believe that it matters more every day. Or even, like, instead of setting a day that's, like, arbitrarily just three years since you started dating, be like, yeah, July 1st every year. Hey, wood! You know, that is fun. Okay. So we can get some... Without having to find... Oh, also, there's lapis. So I'll chop down... Uh, what should I do here? Nah, there's not much I can do. I've got to, I've got to know I can come back here. But yeah, nice, big find, very good find. Um, we will be back. We will be back. Um, later though, because right now I've got a date with Destiny. Um, I do need to make up an inventory slot, so let's use a weird block to get over here. Four tough, sure. 
and let's just mine all of the lapis we can. It doesn't matter. I, I feel like one lapis ore, and you have enough lapis for like a lifetime. <laughs> like that one vein. Oh, there's a second vein over here. One vein, and now we're we're all good. So, Cat, what is your fave cave biome? I don't think the cave biomes are distinct enough for me to have a favorite. I'm so bitter about that, and I really shouldn't be. It's like a bad thing for me. I feel like Toy Cat, my girlfriend, really enjoys celebrating it first. Says, Jose, Bache, Detour, and then he does a winking face. Ah, well, you see, you get to decide together. If you decide that it means enjoy celebrating the day, of course you should do it. But some people, like, get stuck into things that neither of them want to do out of obligation. And it's like, well, that doesn't seem smart or fun. Doesn't seem like anyone benefits from that one. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I think that, uh, I, I think that I found out my partner doesn't see the point of celebrating anniversaries unless you're married, lol. I mean, I, see, that's the thing, right, is you get, you, they get, they don't get to decide on your behalf that it's dumb. That's where it's a bad thing. Like, if they don't like that, you get to be like, but I like it. If that's okay. Um, otherwise, that's just someone saying, yeah. I don't think we should celebrate us. Maybe maybe that's a bad thing. Um, but yeah, I know. Like a, it's, it's a reminder that basically everything gets to be an anniversary if you feel like it or not. You, you're, you're, it's a, life, it's, it's a control your, life is a choose your own adventure, right? Um, and a lot of people forget about that because of how many things aren't choose your own adventure. Like I, I, I really do feel like the reason the school system exists is to remind, is like to, is to make people in the mindset where it's like, yeah, the way you succeed in life is you do exactly what you need to do uh, when other people tell you to. And there are a lot of things that people are really bad at doing, even when other people tell them to. I've been watching uh, bailiff shows recently where like people come around your house and take your stuff. Um, but um, yeah, I uh, I, be, I I don't know, don't even know why. Just been a little thing, and so um. Yeah, I, 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 I think it's so interesting how many of those people are like, yeah, we sent a letter on this state, and they're like, ah, I just hoped if I ignored that letter, it would go away. They're like, then we said we'd do this, and they're like, ooh, yeah, I just kind of, uh, I, I felt like there was a real chance that if I did nothing, that would also go away. And it's funny because so many of your problems in life will just go away when you ignore them. So many problems. I've told the story before about how I worked out my school's detention system. Um would always escalate detentions, like double the length if you miss your detention. But after it got to two hours, it just fell out of the system. And I was like, yeah, I just never went to detentions for, for several years until they worked out the bug. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just a reminder that, like, yeah, you have to really... I, I, the, the only one, one time they worked out, like, okay. Um, I think it was when I was at the very my very last school year. They're like, Andrew, we've just noticed you have, like... 17 of these uh it was called like a c6 or something like that you have you have so many of these that you missed you know the punishment is meant to be like a full day detention but we can't give you 17 days detention like we can't we can't that doesn't make any sense and i was like ah it sucks and huh? they're like could you do like one half day please and so i went into the i went into the uh, basically, sol not solitary command, but like, basically like a prison for half the day. Missing a bunch of lessons, which is the dumbest thing, they're like, yeah, so at this point it makes the most sense for you to just, yeah, I, I, and it's funny, like, uh, it's a bad reminder that basically every form of consequence requires someone to care about something, and if you live in a place where people don't care, you're in a very lucky, lucky spot. So, um, now I'm gonna make a, okay, I've got enough, wait, how is this sugarcane not grown at all, by the way? Chat, have you have you noticed that I I've got a lot of sugarcane. Okay, I'll just make one book for the sugarcane, and then we'll go. Um, Miss Half Day of Class is poggers for detention, says Miss Singleton. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, I remember missing like a lesson I hated too, and thinking, you know, this is pretty good. Life's life's not that bad. Um, you know, there are some teachers or lessons that would make you think like I will do anything in my life besides go there right now um, so it's always a treat when you don't have to go to one of those 
So um, the Twisting Vines are going to go everywhere, but not right now. A couple Deep Slay and the Never... These just don't seem like valuable things. The Shroom Lights, I think we should start putting around the place. So here seems logical. And then also maybe like one there. That seems good enough for now. Um, we are going to craft the sugar cane into paper. And now a book. And hey, look at that, chat. Enchantment table. I'm excited. We're going to make one. It's going to be wonderful. And then I've still got spare diamonds. I'll get this, right? I've still got enough spare diamonds to make a diamond sword. So that's going to be exciting. Um, I do need to desperately... You know, I'm going to go right now. Uh, I, I've i got a lot of things I need to do. But this is... Uh, we've been streaming for just under three hours now. Um... To, what we're going to do is this is a two-part, maybe multi-part series. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun just, like, goofing off in survival. Rather than being like, we've got to get there right now, so fast, zoom, zoom. Taking things a bit slower, I'm having a much more fun time. And I'm going to have brown mushrooms, and that's the important thing. Uh, by the way, before we go, though, 1580, 370. We're going to dig that hole. Is it over here somewhere? It's way over here. So we'll make, like, a... We'll just place, like, a walk block on top of it, maybe? Yeah, that makes sense to me. So, 370 is over here. And 1580 is just over here. So, yeah, at some point tomorrow, we'll dig down from this. <laughs> See how well that goes for ourselves. Brown mushrooms and one very zapped llama. Yeah, I'm surprised that... I'm surprised the llama is not dead. It does seem very unintuitive to me. But, um, yeah, we're gonna go in the cave and just quickly pick up a little bit more coal. Just, like, sort my life out coal-wise. Um, so yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed uh, today's stream. This this kind of different format for the challenge. Um, I think it's a lot more fun, so kind of persevering in different ways. If you've enjoyed it, please do consider liking it. Or don't, it's up to you. you I'm not the boss of you, you're the boss of you. But uh, if you did like the stream, it'd be something I would enjoy. And um, now this cave, there's nothing inside of it, huh? I also put all my valuables away. So we're just going to have to <laughs> use some dirt and go up here. Is there anything up up there for me? There's got to be there's got to be some some coal in this cave somewhere, right? It's a big cave. It's got to lead me to some coal. Um I'm gl glad I'm getting this sorted out right now. Apparently, that's that's an important thing. So as you can see, that was coal. No, it's not. This is coal. No, that's iron. There's lots of iron here, which is nice. Uh, but I'm looking for coal. Uh, I just got here and you're leaving, says Digging Troops. Okay, you know what? Digging Troops just got here, everyone. Everyone, let's let's go back a second. So, um, I've got five more minutes, so we're going to talk about one philosophical disaster before we go. Uh, one philosophical quandary. So, have you ever considered that, um, if you, you, you don't know if you're real or if you're capable of thinking that you're real while not being real? Because... We don't know for sure uh, if thinking you're real actually makes you true. I think therefore I am is a valuable thing in a world where we assume thinking is a human only thing. But we understand that lots of animals and plant lives do a type of thinking. And so are you really real? There we go. That's that's a toy cat stream. Then we'll make some offensive offhand remark about like, oh, uh, have you ever considered that actually some people don't think? There's like a decent proportion of the population that genuinely have never done a thought in their life. Um, and then we'll make another comment about how, uh, the weather's really good and my favorite color is, is, is blue. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this live stream. If you did, don't forget to like it, favorite it, subscribe it, and I'll see you tomorrow for another live stream. It's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, yeah, and, and then I'll, on Thursday, I'll be back to this where we'll be making an enchantment table, I hope.